Champions of the Realms 2, Week 5, Top 8. You know, pool play and Top 8 combined. This is probably one of the best weeks we've had. A lot of down-to-the-wire matches. A lot of Game 5 sets. I want to say thank you so much for everyone supporting the Champions of the Realm series. You are all seriously incredible. I hope you all tune in for the live stream this Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Time Zone. The action is going to be going down on Caboose's Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Caboose. We're getting into week six, people. It's getting close to the end here. We got three more weeks, and that's it. We're going to be getting into the finale. We got about $2,000 in the finale prize pot already, and it's probably going to get even bigger than that. If you want to contribute to the prize pool, there's going to be a link in the description where you can go and do that. It's going to say donate to prize pool here. Again, thank you so much. And do me a huge favor, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and enjoy this tournament action. Welcome back, everybody. Champions of the Realms 2, Season 2 is about to go down. <laughs> this is it. I don't know if you guys are ready for this top eight we got here. Caboose, did you take a look at this bracket? I mean, you know, last week we didn't get the full top eight because we still had some players in the lower bracket getting into this top eight. But we got the full top eight set today. And holy shit, is this top eight stacked? Yep. The, any any one of the matches that we got today could be considered a grand finals, to be honest with you. And I'm really excited. This is week five. The winner of today's top eight will be considered our fifth contestant for Champions of the Realms 2. That's our right. competitor for Champions of the Realms 2 to make it to the finale, which will be taking place at some point in February. We're very excited about that. Destroyer, we also wanted to give a shout out to Console Gaming League, CGL, committing $1,000 to the prize pool of this tournament with a bunch more being added from Thank you, so you much. guys in the match arena. But then on top of the $1,000 that they committed to the finale prize pool, they're also providing us $150 each and every week as a prize pool for all the top eights that we That's won. That's right. These, These players are qualified. fighting for money, Caboose. You are right about that. Mm -hmm. Top three is going to be getting a nice little payout for tonight. And top one is going to be getting into the finale that's going to be yep. taking place later this February. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, here we go. Game one about to be underway with our first match of the night between Izzy and Abyss. And we got Rain from Izzy here facing off against Abyss with the noob Cybot. I, per usual. I remember this uh, this rain coming from Izzy, you know, on that Wednesday, getting into the top eight here. He pulled this out against Honeybee as kind of like a last resort. And holy crap, did it pay off. Yeah, but hey, speaking of Honeybee, he ended up still making it into the top eight on that lower side of the bracket. That's one of those situations where even if you get into those top 16 matches and you don't make it into the top eight from there, still got that second chance. Honeybee clearly take advantage of that. So that we'll is true. Later on today. And yo, another thing to take note here, Caboose, is both these players are on the same team. MCG. Whoa. That was sick. Yeah, that's right. And big fatal blow now oh, yeah. from Abyss. This is a huge commitment. Got to make sure that this is worth it now. Yeah, to you know, out this round. spending that type of meter. Oh, I was going to say that type of resource is getting spent early on. You got to make it count. But Izzy just closing it out with this water ninja crazy shit. Very nice confirm from Abyss. Slowly making his way in here. He's going to go with the interactable. Notice how, you know, he sees all these rifts getting put up on the screen by Rain. 
So he's like, you know what? Fuck the low shadow. I'm just going to try to get in there and put that pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, an escape fail previously on the throw from Izzy. So he has that crushing low throw locked and loaded. Huge combo, though, there from Abyss. The short hop into wow. the 2 one 2 That should be the round. Beautiful stuff. Dude, that was such a badass stance he just put there for that that uh, round taunt. Whoa, the Anza Whoa. here knocking the, the anime water ninja out of the sky. That was kind of godlike. The air splice gets completely interrupted. What a punish there. Bro, we're watching a movie. This isn't even a video game anymore. This is a new Mortal Kombat movie. But he got a throw following it. Back three into slide connects. 2 one two punish off the wake up roll. Oh my And it looks God. like this is spelling danger for Izzy, who's gonna potentially land. Yeah, Wait a second. Low throw. That's big damage. Oh, but the air to air in the right. teleport. Abyss will take that first game. I know for a fact that uh that crushing blow he got there connects into fatal blow that's the only thing it connects to is into the fatal blow so why the hell not go for it you're literally at a one touch death situation you might as well put everything on the line try to make that comeback i mean yeah he threw out the crushing blow throw you would expect that he would maybe get the fatal blow out there to make a huge comeback of nearly 60 percent health eliminated but nevertheless abyss making some good moves landing some combos and winning that first game. What does Izzy do now? Does he go Sub-Zero? Does he go Jackie Briggs? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's right. Izzy does have a Jackie Briggs locked and loaded. This should be interesting. And remember, we saw Abyss kind of struggling against the Jackie Briggs, but he overcame it towards the end of the set. He kind of adapted and was using the uh, that shadow, that air shadow, man. That air shadow really fucks Jackie Briggs yeah. over. And if yep, he can make those here. reads and catch them on point, Izzy's going to have a hard time getting in here. No doubt about that, Destroyer. Let's see what happens in this second game. This is a character that Izzy is very familiar with, a character that I'm sure the entire NRS community is very familiar with. What a beautiful instant air from Abyss. To counteract that interactable usage from Izzy. Oh, the, oh, the down, down three. Four. Down three or down four? Down three. The sickle's down three, I believe. Is it? Yes. Oh, wait, actually, you played Noob Cybot, so I, is, is it down four? I think it's down four. It's down three is like a low kick. Chat. Yeah, oh my god. Chat. We, we need a, we guys, Chat. We need a new commentator. All right, I'll see you I'm guys tomorrow. I'm trolling. Shot says I'm trolling. I said it was a down four. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, the to get him roll. Oh my god, both of them trading in the air. Getting sent. Oh, shuts down the. F what? Come on, this man hit the flawless bug, had the ultimate read on her jumping, and it gets shut down. Izzy with a 40%. Oh my god. Look at the life bar just melting. Wait a second, though, Destroyer. The Fatal Blow is available. Is Abyss going to use it? He was going for the optimal. He missed it, though. Maybe a blessing in disguise, but no, gets caught, and that'll be the round all tied up there from Izzy. Oh my god! Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the neutral right. duck on the dash punch. Oh yeah, what an optimal right there. 26%. Goes with the down one into the low shadow. Not meter burning it! Gonna pay the price for that. Is he hitting him with a very damaging combo? Wait, what the fuck wow, was that? Oh, I can't believe it. That was a huge risk there from Abyss, but clearly that, pays off. Dude, I didn't know. I didn't how know did that worked out. I didn't know you could do that. I mean, it was kind of like a gimmick, you know, because all he had to do was block it. It would have been a, a punish. Oh, this is so scary. Destroyer Fatal Blow available on both sides right now. You got to be so careful Good with throw. every single button press. This is it. Down to the wire. He can't oh, hit him. Beautiful. There's going to be a conversion. Oh, my oh, God. No. Oh. Oh. oh, the dash punch will do it. Is he going to take it? So unfortunate, Izzy was able to break away fast enough off of the Amplified Teleport to completely avoid the Fatal Blow activation. That I wonder if maybe sick. the down two would have been the better choice there. But I mean, if you're Abyss, you'd have to imagine that you're going for that Fatal Blow, expecting a breakaway, and that it would land. Yeah, there was a lot of things to be worried about during that set, but Izzy definitely overcame it all. Caught the dash punch crushing blow at the end there, closing it out, tying things up one apiece. Let's see if Abyss is going to be able to stay strong and go up the set. Oh, yo. Sky, yo, yo, yo. 
Hey, 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 hey. He's breaking oh the rules. He's breaking god. the rules. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, well, here we go. Game three underway. We're all tied up in the set one to one. This should be good. And Izzy really kind of, I, I like the character switch to Jackie Briggs. You know, even though you think Abyss kind of has this matchup down packed with the amount of Jackie Briggs you got to worry about nowadays, but Izzy's making it work here. He's going to tag him with a down one, tries to go with the short hop. You do also got to give it up to Abyss. He's playing extremely well against Jackie Briggs. Oh, oh, yeah. A lot of oh, yeah. Are considered to be very, very good in this game. And making it work with his new Psybot. Got the punish. Whoa. Dude, how shot. many times have they traded in this set already? Love a back and forth, if I do say so myself. Back forward two being tossed up. Good, flawless block. Oh, my God. Countered. He almost had the craziest conversion of a lifetime. He's going to leap out of there. Putting the plasma on the ground, oh. shutting down the shadow tackle. Oh my God. We got to get a little Dominican man in the commentary. Oh yeah. Cross up. We are kind of in a position here where Abyss really just needs one good conversion. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get it. No pain, no gain. It's scary. Cause once Jackie Briggs opens you up in a grounded state, you got to hold so much unbreakable damage, bro. Oh, no punish there off the block dash punch. That's unfortunate. All right. Gonna nice. take the risk. He goes for the down, the down, was that the down three? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no punish. That is not punishable. Another trade. And he gets oh. that dash punch crush. A lot of damage there. 24%. Oh my God, the throw interrupting his attack. Dude, this match is wild. This is a wild thornberries right here. The wild thornberries? No way he catches that anti-air with the plasma ball. Down four. Oh, he's looking for an interactable usage. Down four again. Just chipping away at his life bar. Nicely done. Oh. Okay, no conversion coming from that from Abyss. Probably, now gonna get a little something though. Probably thought breakaway was gonna happen. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Oh, even though Izzy is on that magic pixel destroyer, we know what this sort of position could lead to, but nope. A little smack to the face, and we're all tied up on the rounds. Punch him in the mouth. He says, stop it right there, bitch. Fight. Those plasma balls are set up. Oh, what a punish there. And the armor breaker, but he wasn't able to catch the back forward two off of it. Very unfortunate stuff here. Izzy trying to make the approach. Oh! The jump in three, gonna oh, knock him out of the air, get some juicy damage off of that. Dude, you, you, you are not kidding. This match is so back and forth right now. Nice back one into slide connects. The fatal blow once again ready for Izzy. Ooh. One, one, two, Come lands the overhead. And that's it. Abyss goes up 2-1 now in this set. Brutality? Oh yeah. Wow. Oh yeah. The infinite call this shit Half-Life portal. This is it. Gonna go into the loop. Hold on. Did, did my stream crash? No. No. What? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh my god. This, this, why would you say that? Why would you say that? She's looping. But why would you say that? Because she's looping. You know she's. But why would you? But why would you say that? Because she's looping. Okay, but like, why would you say that? Why would you say she's looping? <laughs> Unbelievable. Dude. She's We're looping? She's looping. This is starting off with a, a very close match. The first match for tonight. This top eight is looking to be a scary one. Abyss going up 2-1 against Izzy here. Ooh. Is he making the character switch to Shang Tsung? Hold on. Wait a second. Huh? Are, are we going to see? Shoy! Shoy! Interesting. Sorry, have, we, sorry. have we seen him play Shang? I don't think so. Fight. Hold on. No, 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 no. 
Dude, if we go back to week five, I think we can quote this from me. I mentioned when we first saw Izzy's name, I said, I'm not too familiar with him, but I think he plays a Shang Tsung. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, you remember like that? You remember that? Yeah, 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 yeah. And look at this. Finally revealing it, the Shang Tsung I was kind of suspicious about. He's going to whip it out. Have you seen it in action? Is it, uh, you live I, up to the hype? I've had to see it in action if I, kn if I knew about it. Right. Oh, man. The flawless blocking right now from Abyss is incredible. Oh. Back three. Good block. That was a risk if I've ever seen one. And Izzy's going to take full advantage. And 37% off of that combo. No flawless block that time. Oh. Does off the Amplified Corpse Drop. And that's the I round there geez. for Izzy. Doing a great job round keeping Abyss at bay. Five. Zoning him out. Yeah, it's such a mind game with, with Shang Tsung sometimes, whether he's gonna amplify the corpse or not. And he, he just gets such an advantage, because you just, you see? He, he's just sitting there waiting for it. And now he's gonna get the health marks into a nice little 21%. Izzy right now really turning the tides of battle here. Wait a second, Abyss! Good combo there, 41% one bar. Not actually though, but you know what I mean. Oh man. Abyss doing a great job again. Ample first try again. The flawless block on the ground eruption. It's gonna hit him with the down poke. Another good grab coming out of Izzy here. He needs to close this out. What a read wow. coming out of Abyss! Oh my Unbelievable. god! Unbelievable. Down four. Tied up the rounds. Match point now for Abyss. This is terrifying. Izzy needs to clutch this out if he wants to stay in this. Oh, just tries to dash up and catch the grab, but Abyss was ready for the. What kind of down two was that? This is a this is a really like high skilled set, if you know what I mean. Like I, we're watching some good competition right now between both these competitors. I mean, when you are we tell. when are we so not in the team. champions of the realms? Absolutely. Whoa! He's nice. trying to jump out of there, but getting clipped. What the Ooh, fuck beautiful. was that? Cut the short hop with the ground eruption. The back throw is gonna connect. Bro, this is way too close. Careful. Is way he just walking back here? And he has probably one of the sickest outfits in Shang Tsung's uh, cosmetics. The movie skin. Yeah, so nice. I'm so nervous right now. Oh my god, catches him with a health spark. Abyss has no breakaway, has to hold all that damage. He planned for that fatal blow, gonna block. Whoa! Gets the jump in off the interactable. Oh my god! 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 What the fuck? Since when was that a brutality? Okay, Noob Cybot literally blew up Shang Tsung. When was that a brutality, bro? This man exploded. Holy cow. Holy, oh wow, an incredible set there. Abyss played so well with that Noob Cybot. And we'll take things three to one, sending Izzy into the lower bracket and moving on to winner's finals where he'll await the winner between Kerbalicious and Han Rashid. Very good stuff. Oh, by the way, I didn't even get to show you guys the bracket. I apologize for that, but let's go take a look. So Abyss taking it over Izzy. It was an unfortunate team kill we got early on here, but it is what it is. You know, fighting game tournament. It's a 1v1 situation. You got to do what you got to do. So Abyss is going to be moving on against Izzy. Up next, we're going to have Kerbalicious versus Han Rashid. Then yep. moving down to the lower bracket, we'll be having Sully versus Honeybee. And then Big Daddy G versus DJT. I'm telling you guys, this is top eight. Tonight, we have some crazy matches lined up for us here. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm really, really excited to see what's going to go down in these later matches. I am too, and... You know, one, one of the favorites to take this week, I'm not going to lie, is Kerbalicious. He was so yep. close in, in week, what was it, week four? Yep, last week. But un unfortunately, well, I'm not going to say unfortunately because it was a well-deserved victory from Biohazard. But unfortunate for Kerbo, you know, to be in that winner's side grand finals, mm. everything was, was kind of going his way. And then yep. Bio just defies all odds and and makes the reverse and takes that week it was it was actually a crazy moment but we're gonna see now man if kerbalicious is gonna be able to turn things around yeah let's see you're right because last week was a run from kerbalicious he was absolutely lighting people up with cabal 
and you know made it to grand finals played a really crazy set against biohazard and you really just you got to give it up to biohazard for the way that he played it has nothing to do with any misplays that kerbo made it was just that biohazard was uh i don't know I don't know. He 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 ate the uh, the Popeye spinach or something. We spoke about it. We literally nuts. spoke about it during the set. We say, "Yo, this man had to have eaten the spinach because the 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 way he's playing right now is the way to like it was ferocious." This man was just coming mm. in. He said, "Noise, bit tucker. Noise, bit no 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 noise, bit tucker." And I say, "Yo, Bio, you need to chill, please." You okay? You good? What do you mean? I'm just making sure you're all right. Yo, you want me to get shooting and pipe on you? Don't hey, hey. We don't gotta take it there. Why why do you always gotta take it there? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jerry. Jerry, let him know. <laughs> Koto Khan, Koto Khan, let him know, please. Well, hey, 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 don't like, come on. Koto, come on. Koto! Koro, what the hell? He said it, bro. GG. Bro, oh my god, this set. I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to get, I don't want to jump the gun and, and like make decisions a little too hastily, but Hammer Sheet versus Kerbalicious, winner of this gets into the winner's final. Yep. I low key feel like whoever takes this set could potentially be the one who takes the whole tournament this week. These two yeah, players careful, right here it, are dangerous. Yes, yeah, Abyss is in that winner's final, and bro, Abyss is hungry for that spot. Cause yep. he's been fighting for that shit for a minute now. I mean, Abyss took down the young prodigy, faced off against a Jackie, and lived to tell the tale with that Noob Saibot. Plus, objectively, Noob Saibot is the greatest character invented in the history of Mortal Kombat. Whoa, so it would whoa, be interesting whoa, to see him whoa, making it. Whoa. Uh huh. What happened? Took it too far, yo. What did I say? What? Anyways, let's see if Kerbalicious is going to land 41% with one bar as I'm we sure head out into game one. I'm pretty damn sure we're going to be seeing that 40% one bar. If we don't, I'm going to be a little disappointed because that was kind of the signature of, of week week five pools. If, if he lands a 41% combo with one bar, I want to see the whole chat. I want to see everyone. Wait, it might happen. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Wait, 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 destroy her. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's a, a specific starter streak he needs to get to get it. But yo, both times, I think the first time he was onto it, but he thought Hammer she was gonna break away. Mm, so he didn't commit fully to the combo? Nope. Nice. Jump back. Oh. oh. All that's blocked there. You're right, Han Rashid, another competitor that is so dangerous in Champions of the Realm. Someone we've seen so much of. That Fujin is ridiculous. And now with the ability to create custom variations, it's just gotten crazier. It really has gotten crazier. Oh, trying to catch him with some sneaky stuff. Beautiful back one, two conversion here. Are we going to see it? No, 29. That's all I'm looking for is that 41%. One more. Going for the full stream, keeping it safe. Very nice. Dude, I love how the uh, 2D fighters in the background are just staring each other down. Look at the uh, look at the tree pog. Oh wait, no, never mind. We got different backgrounds. <laughs> Damn. It's Dude. weird that you get different backgrounds depending on the perspective. Like of who's watching, you know? Listen, I got the trees. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna get us uh, the tree pog emo. I'm gonna get us the tree pog emo. <laughs> it's gonna be ready for uh, for what is it? What we're we getting into? Week six? <laughs> week six? Chat? You better get ready for tree pog. <laughs> oh, and we're gonna get uh, fucking tree serious. <laughs> the one in the middle, right? Yeah. <laughs> we got both of them. Nice jump in there from Han Rashid, working to try and make a comeback oh, here and get this round. That could have been it. Air to air. Definitely working on this comeback here. He's gonna cancel the air, whatever the hell that shit's called, the Skywalker. Fifteen seconds left, oh, and he got no, caught. That's fatal. He got caught. He's that dead. Is it. That is it. That will be the game. Wait, he spent one bar. How much is this gonna be, Destroyer? Hold on. He spent one bar. No, it's not gonna be close enough. It's not gonna be. <laughs> oh, 38%, 38 one 38. bar. What You're a fatal blow. Oh, wait a minute. Kerbo, chill. Dragging him out of on the, the stage. First, 
game? He's wilding out, bro. On the first game? I don't even know what to say anymore. Carbalicious is fucking vicious. Wait a minute. I mean, hey, I feel like when he starts spilling blood, fatalities and all that good shit, it really fuels him, you know? Kerbalish is that type of player. He needs to make the opponent bleed in order for him to suffice. Let's see if Ham Rashid is going to be able to bounce back from that fatality right there. That was brutal stuff coming out of Kerbalicious. You know, it's all about sending a message. It's all about sending a message these days, you know? And Kerbo yeah. doing just that, dragging him across the screen. All the fucking trees witnessed, witnessed that. All the trees were watching this man get dragged, bro. He had so looks, yes. So that's why the tree, <laughs> tree bug at the end was like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> fucking losing his mind. <laughs> oh my god, you gave me the greatest idea. You know those those meme videos. Yeah. I'm gonna get one on that stage. Yeah. And I'm gonna get a, get a zoom up into that pog tree, just screaming. <laughs> Give me, ah! Fart. Oh man! Starting the match off with a jump in from Han Rashid. Oh shit! Oh, Beautiful. yo, Kerbo hitting so much damage for one bar, man. This it still amazes me. Like we know what's coming when he gets an opening, but. Holy shit. Oh, jumping over the, 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 the arrow. It feels like we haven't seen a lot of offense from Han Rashid, which is a little unlike what we'd usually come to expect from his Fujin. I mean, he is a little more careful, a little more methodical. Nice throw. Escape, that was an escape failed. Well, on the bright side, you do got to worry about only one direction. Beautiful catch from Han Rashid. He's gonna go for the Oh my god, going all over the place right now! Godlike stuff there from Han Rashid. I don't know if he kinda dropped the secondary part of his head up there. Has the fatal blow. Throw's gonna connect in the territory where all it needs to do is just land. I can't watch. Oh man. Oh man. Flying across the stage. He blocks the nomad dash. Is he gonna even get out there? He's spending it. Using, use it. And that'll be the round. Good stuff there from Han Rashid. That raw nomad dash has been something that has worked so successfully for Kerbalicious. But Han Rashid was ready for it that time. Yeah, and that's the smart stuff, man. Han Rashid, knowing that he needs to take that round, it was a crucial moment. And he went, wasted the fatal blow. I respect it. Oh my god, raw nomad dash is. coming out of Kerbalicious. What yeah. the F cabal? Crazy stuff there from Kerbo. Gets caught by the back two. Instant air from Han Rashid. Trying to work on a little bit of a comeback to close that life lead that Kerbalicious has since gotten. Back and forth from these two players. He's going to leave to the other side. The forward two. Good cancel. Nicely done. I think he wanted a Nomad dash to try to get a conversion off of that jump one. Maybe. I think what he wanted was a, oh my god! <laughs> he does the uh, fatality where he opens the mask and it's little Dominican man. <laughs> oh wow, nicely done there from Kerbalicious. Hunter Sheets gets caught by a projectile. Okay, Amplified Skywalker will land, but the breakaway immediately from Kerbalicious. Hunter Sheets Wait, really? Come wow, that was Wait, a skin. What? Conversion. What was oh that? Oh my god. How the he fuck did he know that picks up? Barely off the ground. My Bro, goodness. If he Kerbalicious was still around. Yo, if he would have took that round, I would have lost my mind. But still, that dude was touching the ground already. And he picked him up with that. The that hell? Nuts. That was nuts. Han Rashid showing off the tech right now. Lands a forward throw. It's top of the cross up. Kerbalicious now going to take control of this corner. Han Rashid oh going to find a way out. Oh my god. Oh my god! He catches it with a nice oh conversion here. God. This is big damage coming out of Kerbalicious. Yo, the jump three into the gas leap. The mix up, bro. I like sometimes it's what? Wow. Hammer Sheen needs to be ready for that. The 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 balls on Kerbalicious from just mid-screen to throw out a nomad no. dash, and it looks like this could potentially spell the end. Unless Andre Sheen finds something now, and he's gonna get caught. Turbo. Goes up 2-0 now. The balls on Cabal's. 
his cabal sack right now is just absolutely gigantic. Dude, all I gotta say is just look at his facial expression. He's not pleased with that one. No way, cabal is not pleased with that one. What? I was complimenting him. He said, my ball sacks, too slow. Too, 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 too slow. Too, too slow. Let me stop, because the last time I started spamming too slow, that's when the shit crashed. Like a code. Is it a cold? It's like a code. Cold? Yo, Captain Cold? You're you're starting to piss me off. I'm gonna Yo guys! <laughs> Whoa! Guys! Surround oh my sur God. Surround Caboose's building! Surround oh my God. Surround Caboose's building! You're fucked, Caboose. I fucking hate clowns. I got spawned, so. You said you got spam? Yeah. You like spam? Anybody, wow. Anybody want. I want to see right now. One in the chat if you like spam. Two in the chat if you. <laughs> two in the chat if you don't like spam. Let's see it. Let's see it in the chat. Right now. For the spam. This is Champions of the Realms, and this is what we got in the chat right now. We are getting about spam. This is good questions, man. <laughs> you know? Spam is nasty, bro. Whoa. Get that shit out of here. Whoa. Get that shit out of Are here. Are you kidding me right now? Get that shit out of here. Bro, so you telling me spam with a nice egg and bacon? You, Are you serious? I'd rather just have egg and bacon. Like a spam egg and cheese? Are you serious why right would, now, bro? Why would you Why would you ruin Why, why would you not just have yo, a bacon what, egg and cheese? Yo, what about like a spam egg and cheese in the morning? With a nice cafecito on the side? What about a bacon egg and cheese? You know what I like to have for breakfast? 41% with one bar. <laughs> to the face! <laughs> This man Caboose wakes up, the ball's waiting just to knock him out with a 41% one bar every morning. Okay, Hammer G. Hammer G needs to make this comeback right now Ooh, if he, he wants to stay it. alive. He had it destroy you, landed that back one, but he didn't come into the pole straight, wow. and that could be the round, Kerbalicious match point. I cannot believe that just happened. He tries to get the jump in three, but nothing's there. He goes for it again, catching it the second time. Gas leaping. Hold on. The flawless block. I don't think he was ready for that flawless block because he didn't he didn't commit into anything after it. Oh! Beautiful. Went for the down two to cash out on the damage. There was a late breakaway from Kerbalicious. Oh, the punish with the Nomad Dash. That was actually Ergo sick numb. as hell. He ran right oh, through that, that bow. Conversion there from Han Rashid, and he's going to get caught after the air dash by the 1-1-1 one, one, one string. And that is a lot of damage into a setup, but a flawless lock on the cross-up. Han Rashid now answering back. This is what he needs. Lands the That's jump in. Do it. Taking the round, tying things up here. And, ooh, look at the Styles with the sword. You saw that shit, bro? You said that's Harry Styles? <laughs> I thought you said it was Mads Mikkelsen. It is Mads Mikkelsen. I didn't say Harry Styles. You said it. Chat. Come on, you guys heard him, right? Listen. Oh my god, what a what a beautiful conversion right there. Coming out of Carbalicious here. He's got him in the corner, gonna hit him with a knockdown. The wake up three gonna get blocked! And Rashid trying to apply some... Oh, shit! Yo, he stayed up in the air for as long as he possibly could. Whoa. Oh, in the bags? I don't think that was intentional. Oh. I mean, why would he be fuzzing from that deep? I think that was the bags. Man, Ham Rashid is getting getting out of control. Another Fucking flawless block. He goes straight for the throw. Is that crush? No. Good throw. Too slow. Nice instant air into the down two. Cashes out on the damage. Oh! So oh, nicely done. This could spell That's the that. end. He's oh, Han Rashid fully converts, and he will be able to. That's the game. Han Rashid's alive. Oh, is he going for a fatal? Oh, 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 what is he doing? Oh, he's dancing. He's dancing. He's dancing. He's dancing. Oh. He's dancing. Yeah, I guess he was just trying to show off the movement from Fujin. Yo, hold on. Spanky Doodle, pause the music real quick. I, just, I gotta mention okay. something important. Yo, okay. imagine Han Rashid reverse 3 0s Kerbalicious. Bro, I promise you. At that point, Kerbalicious would probably have like a like a PTSD type of issue. 
You know what I'm saying? After getting reversed uh, 3 0 by Bio in the week, what was it, week four? He'd lose his mind if it happens again. Corbalicious needs to close this out if he wants to stay uh, sane. Yeah, at this point, I'm really not sure. If Kerbo got reversed to yo, that would definitely be the upset of the century. But right now, Han Rashid is certainly carrying a little bit of momentum after getting some real good combos, getting some real good hits in there. So let's see if he's going to be able to continue to carry that momentum. And maybe, maybe we see a reverse 3-0. I'm not trying to listen. I'm not commentators cursing no, you anybody. Are. Right? You are. I'm not commentators are. cursing anybody. No, you, right? Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. I'm not. Press one in the chat if he's trying to commentate his curse Kerbalicious chat. Press two if uh if you agree that uh spam is garbage. <laughs> Yo, both, those, both of those options were really not in my favor. Wow. I kinda got fucked there. Oh, he's gonna get the gas leap. <laughs> the back and forth right now. Good down one from Kerbalicious. This is the start to something special here. You got all the Tarkans in the background watching this. They know this is important for Kerbo. Nicely done. Amplified Skywalker into the tornado. Neutral jump. Oh my god, what the that, that he got fun. the punish! It, it's like a lot of baiting coming out of Han Rashid, but it works out so well for him. There it is again. I'm gonna commit. Finds the setup. Good ship damage. Watch out for the cross up. Oh! Beautiful stuff there from Kerbalicious. 36%. Not yet 41. Oh, gets the jump in. Went for the armor breaker. And no still alive here. Rashid. He just needs one confirm into fatal blow or, or, or a combo would do it. Kerbalicious does have the meter, the defensive bars to break away, so Fatal Blow might be necessary. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's he gonna be? Oh my god! Nine seconds to shore. He needs the Fatal Blow. Oh, and he gets caught by a down one. Kerbalicious again on match point. No, we haven't seen the 41% one bar just yet, but I think he's, he's trying to work on it. Definitely trying to work on it. 41%. Tagging him out of the air. This is gonna be big damage, potentially 41%. One bar. No. Oh no, this is just gonna be additional damage for Kerbalicious to get away with. Was expecting the breakaway there, or at least just cashing out on guaranteed damage by going for the armor breaker. Now Han Rashid has a bit of work to do. He's really trying to catch that amplified Skywalker like he had been previously or earlier in this match. Oh, he wanted the Amplified Skywalker, but got shut down. If there was any sort of meter, and that is it. Kerbalicious will take the set three to one and moves on to the winner's final to face off against Abyss. Very good stuff, man. Kerbalicious really tightening up at the end there, and he's going to be closing things out. And like you yep. said, moving on to fight Abyss. Ooh, this is going to be a close one. I don't know. No, they definitely didn't run into the, uh, each other in pool plays because then one of them obviously yep. would have been on the loser side. Yeah, wow, this this is going to be interesting, man. You know, Abyss has quite the obstacle to overcome facing off against a player like Kerbalicious. The Coliseum, mm -hmm. Mr. Aquaman's Coliseum champion, man. You know, he's trying to get a spot into that finale for the Champions of the Realms. Yep. It's going to be going down sometime uh, this February on yep. the official CGL channel. Also, huge shout-outs to Colossal Gaming League sponsoring this tournament with some crazy uh funding we really appreciate it for the prize pool 150 dollars each and every week that is that is a lot and we really appreciate their support on champions yes. of the run with season one and now with season two thank you so much also thank you so much to everyone that's been tuning in you know from where this well from where this tournament series started to where it is now the growth has been so incredible, and it just yep. keeps me and Caboose motivated to keep bringing you guys this awesome content mm -hmm. and this crazy tournament action. So thank you so much, viewers, for tuning in and supporting this tournament series. You ain't seen nothing yet. That's all I'll say. But yeah, we really appreciate everything that you guys have been doing for Champions of the Realms. All the all, everybody who's donated to the match arena, all the people who tune in each and every day. You know, there's plenty of people in chat who gift subs, who show support to both my boy Destroyer and myself whenever we're streaming. It really means a lot. And just like you said, Destroyer, yeah, it motivates us like crazy. We have so much fun putting this stuff together. And 
yeah, we can't wait. We still got what this week we're finishing up today's top eight and we got three more weeks to go after that. So a lot of fun coming your way. A lot of uh, a lot of Mortal Kombat coming your way to get excited about. So thank you all very, very much for your support. Yeah, man, you're you're not lying about that. You know, we got the pro competition running right now. We got a, a lot of other um, great content creators hosting community tournaments for yeah. for NRS. Like, you guys cannot be complaining. Nobody can be complaining saying, oh, the game is dead, yada, yada, yada. Dude, there's so much shit going on I'm right tired now. I'm tired of hearing that. Uh huh. I'm I'm tired of hearing that. <laughs> and, so we got we got over 1,200 people watching almost right now for Champions of the Realms two, week five. You know, why five weeks into this tournament, a bunch of people watching. Every time Nether Realm runs their stuff with the pro competition, tons of people still watching. Yeah. Stop! 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 Stop with the with this with this dead game nonsense. And, uh, when the stream cut, so you didn't miss any of this match. This is a lower bracket match. This is on the loser side. Meaning that the loser will be eliminated from the tournament. A lot of stakes on the line. Sully rocking that Joker, which was so clean from what we were seeing. Going to be, of course, as per usual. With that Devora, nicely done. Catches the jump in into the teleport. Oh my god, tried using the Arachnable. What the hell just happened there? Devora just wanted to hit the ground or something. Nice corner combo here from Sully. Gonna do quite a bit of damage. 33%, one bar. Nice throw again. Sully maintaining this corner pressure. I need we gotta find a way out. Oh, nice down two to interrupt the forward two string. The trap set up. The range on that jump in. One of the strongest tools that Devora has in her arsenal. Nice Volantia there with the forward two. Uh. All right, try to tag him with the down one. Oh, good Ooh. breakaway coming out of Sully. Oh, this was the, was Sully using Joker during the pool play? The I thought day? I remembered him using Joker, yeah. Set up here with those traps to get some chip damage from full screen. 20 seconds left on the clock. Neutral jumps galore. Gotta be so careful here. Destroyer, 15 seconds, cancels. The t oh, that was godlike. The flawless block of the jump in. Get the air there. He didn't land the down two again. Oh my, oh my god. god, the overhead. Seven seconds and Honey Bee with the low poke will take the round in a very, very intense finish. Very good stuff. Ducking under the bug. Kind of just waiting for the perfect opportunity here. It's gonna go with the forward 2-1. Nice gunshot. I'm sorry. Here we go, Honeybee gonna get a hit confirm. Jump in. Ooh. Going for the teleport because that trap was ready. We got a hype train? I think we got a hype train in the chat, Destroyer. I think Destroyer's left the building. As we got a level I'm just one checking uh, the, the back and end of things real quick, sorry. Nah, you're good, you're good. Nice throw reversal there from Sully. Still has that Fatal Blow cancel. You know that that could spell danger for anybody facing off against the Joker, especially in the hands of Sully. Going for these staggers, cancels the Fatal Blow, but gets caught. What a flawless block there. Goes for the throw, and the trap gets shut down from that throw. I thought it was gonna hit him, but no, he lands the throw and ties up the round. Very good stuff. Honeybee. Trapped in the corner here against Sully. Oh, I, I always get confused now, man, because I'm, I'm not used to seeing this crushing blow coming out of uh, Honeybee. You know, we used to see it almost all the time. That back in the throw, day. yeah. Nicely done. Speaking of crushing blows, went for the down two to cash out on the damage. Gets another throw to connect. Sully really making this a close one. Gets the air to air. Goes for the down two to cash out. Good counter there from Honeybee. A trap is thrown out. Oh, he couldn't go for more. He had to block. Oh my goodness, a bunch of gifted subs. You guys are going crazy on this hype train. Thank you Big so much. Thank you so much. For supporting the shout homie out. destroyer. Shout out to the subs. Oh my god. Oh, he dropped the combo. Let's jump in. Honeybee needs pretty much one hit. He needs pretty much one hit. Gets the air to air. 
Amplifies the trap, and he's gonna get it. And I think that's guaranteed into Fatal Blow. Honeybee will take game one. Well done on the first game there from Honeybee. A close one at that too. That was really anybody's game to take. All right, so who took that? Honeybee's gonna take game number one? Honeybee will take game number one indeed. Very good stuff. Sully so looks like he's gonna be sticking with the Joker. I don't think we saw uh, any other characters coming out of him during the pool play, but I mean, this is kind of all he needs, man. We were talking about it before. Joker is that type of character that, you know, he, he gets the job done. He really gets the, holy shit, this chat is going crazy. TJ Scott Seriously. with the thousand bits. Donnie Blaze with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, guys. Listen, I promise you all, I promise you, I promise you, I will get to the bottom of my fucking uh, OBS issues, and I will fix this. And if you don't, well, then I'm going to hit you with the 41% one bar. Listen, if I don't, then I don't know. If I don't, then you're you're gonna have to fucking produce this shit. <laughs> Might have to. Oh, Desaurus with another five gifted. My goodness, you guys are really showing up with the support for the homie Destroyer. Wow, and this is the Y'all go nuts, my god! Yeah, you guys better chill out, seriously, before I start screaming. <laughs> Big crushing blow. That'll make the uh, trap go away as well. And Sully gonna get a full combo conversion, 37%. Beautiful stuff there. Oh, nice neutral dunk off. Neutral duck off the throw. The throw connects, escape failed. Sully having a really good round here, but not able to kill Honeybee just yet. So careful. Oh, and the gunshot will do it. I'm sorry. Wow, destroyer. Your chat is going hard body right now. Thank you so much. They want you to scream. Oh my god! Alright, somebody's probably gonna think I just got killed. <laughs> Fucking, I'm gonna get the SWAT's gonna bust into my crib. And when they come in, I'm gonna say, ah! <laughs> On level five right now. Can we get that? Can we get that level five hype train complete, please? If we don't get, then you're all gonna get hit with the 41% one bar. Can we get that shipping and pipe up, please? Give it a bite, Bob. Inbound. Nice throw there from I'll Sully. The Has the corner. A fatal blow, though. The trap comes out. Applying the pressure. Beautiful stuff. Is Honeybee going to get combo into fatal? Or will he try and go for a setup here? He's going to go for the setup. Jump it. Low poke. Sweep. Beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is so intense, Destroyer. It nice really tool. is. He blocks it. Oh my god, the reversal. We oh. go back roll. Oh, that could have been punished. He's trying to get the oh kids with the over and closes it. Honeybee, Holy what a shit. maniac. Holy shit. Final round. Fight. Goes with the EX yeah, man, jack in the box. Luck. Yeah, that's yep. a smart thing to do, man. That really controls the neutral. Yeah, because you don't know where it's going to land. You're always worried about where you want to go. All right, bro. This chat is ridiculous right now. Holy shit. You guys are losing your mind. Listen, I'm, losing mind. I'm beginning to think it's the chat that's crashing the fucking streams. <laughs> you guys, are, there's too much hype almost. Oh, he had the conversion, but didn't fully commit. The bug. Down poke. There's the trap set up again. Now on the YOLO teleport. It'll work. Nice. And for the down two, crap. Cashes out on the damage. Sully really trying to close this out on neutral jump, though, from Honeybee. Setting up for a full combo. 
Can we As put the trap out? Amplified. Oh! oh! A raw fatal blow. Is that enough? This does a is lot of enough? fucking damage. I think this it is the, the, the most damaging fatal blow in the game, possibly. It, it might come down to the shield destroyer. And no, I think that'll be it. 34%. Jesus Christ. A raw fatal blow. And that'll do it. We're tied up one to one. Very good stuff. Sully versus Honeybee here, man. Both these players going back and forth. Tying things up one apiece. All right, seems like Honeybee's gonna be sticking with his main girl. I wouldn't see him switching main out of Devora. His main Gerson here. You got the Gersonator. It is me, the Gersonator. You got it. The liar. Gersonator. And the Terminator. It is me, the Gersonator. It is me, the Terminator. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How are you? It is me, the Gersonator. Hi. Stop it. Stop doing that. Come on. Okay, good grab. You got Baraka in the back room right now, just looking at this. He's screaming. He's going crazy. He's just. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You gotta be careful with Baraka in your room, man. He doesn't seem like he's, uh, he's the coolest guy to hang out with, you know? It's actually really cool. You believe it or not, you think Barack is a bad guy, but in reality, he's a really cool dude. Wow, a flawless round there from Honeybee, making a statement here in this third game. Sully stuck in this corner. Can Honeybee continue the onslaught? Switch the jump in into the sweep. Another sweep connects. And the staggers there from Sully. Really mastered this character, really doing such a great job with this Joker. Nicely done. Maybe we'll land a hit. Oh, he went with a short hop. Bro. Empty short hop into throw. Oh, that was pretty godlike. The teleport to avoid the amplified Jack in the box. Oh, that's a punish. The down two into a second down two that combo is crazy. Overhead connects. Watch out for that fatal blow. Don't get robbed again. The throw connects. That should be the game. Guaranteed. Oh, wait, no. But Honeybee will get it still off the down one. And that'll be the game. Now Honeybee goes up 2 1 in the set. Played really well there. And there are just, she's just disgusting. Hey, 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 don't call her disgusting. Leave her alone. She's disgusting. Look at Leave her. Leave her alone. What is she doing? Hey, one thing I want to know is why don't enough players use the uh, the Nurse Devora skin? I think the Nurse Devora skin is like top tier. Instead, everybody goes for the uh, the other ones. Another one. Hmm. Devora, the Joker. Really good set right now between both of these competitors playing out of their minds with the characters that they're playing as. we go into game four could this be our first game five of the night if not honeybee will be eliminating sully from the tournament this week Fight. everything good on your end uh, yeah 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 run. nice throw there from honeybee to start off this game well, not to start it off, but you know what I mean. Too slow. Too slow. Goes with a meter burn jack in the box. And it lands. Jump in. Into a throw. Oh my god, that kind of restood him there. That trap is pretty nuts. I can see why, you know, 
he's utilizing that more than he would ever use the uh, the armor break move, that restand move. The Kapow is gonna land, and the side switch there from Sully. Gotta be careful though. Gotta be really careful here though, Destroyer. This is looking dangerous. Neutral jump into another throw. Honeybee, close to closing this. 20 seconds left on the clock. Oh no, but the forward two will connect. Wow. And the Amplified Kapow will give Sully the round. One round away from sending us to a game five. Ooh, that could have been dangerous. He knocks him down. Oh my God, we are down to crushing blow. Sully right now. Bro, look at this damage. 41% one bar. 41% one bar. Oh, good throw. Honeybee's got a long way to work here. Oh, instantly went for the down two to try and cash out. Honeybee wisely not spending the defensive meter. Good flawless block there off the jack in the box. You need as much health as you can to survive this. Want to avoid that chip damage, a throw. Honeybee in that territory of just hitting the fatal blow. You need one conversion. He had it, but he didn't know. He got caught by the throw. We're going to a game five, Destroyer. Oh my God, with the brutality as a finisher, just popping this bitch's face off. Suddenly, it keeps going. <laughs> Sully landed the 41% one bar. <laughs> the chat went, the chat went mad. <laughs> oh god. Here we go, Destroyer, our first game five of the night between Honeybee and Sully. The winner of this match moves on to the loser's quarterfinal to face off against Han Rashid, which is definitely, I mean, if it's Sully who makes it or if it's Honeybee, man, it's gonna be a hype set. Yeah, man, this is it. Uh, so far, all the matches we've had for this top eight have been super close, super down to the wire. Hell of a set. Here we go now. Game five underway. The loser of this set is eliminated. We're we'll winning on the face off against Han Rashid. That guy got his legs dipped in the acid, just kind of chilling there. Oh no, they dunked him. They dunked him. Nicely done. Johnny B will get a hit. Switching sides. The breakaway there from Sully, but not before Honeybee was able to get the setup that he wanted to. Gonna land another hit into the trap, into the web trap. I don't know what you call that move, into the, the void. Whoa, what the hell was that? What even just happened? I'm what even just you, happened? Bro, this he is went a... for the overhead, and then the freaking the bugs, the, 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 the trap, gave Honeybee like a restand? That was some crazy shit right there. Hits him with the counter. Here he goes, wrapping him up like a present. Let's see what he's got here. Nice wake up. Cross up attempt. Now Sully has the corner. Escape fell on the throw. Honeybee was expecting a back throw. Ooh, Honeybee just went for a down two. Ooh, if he guessed again, trying to go over that down two, he would have got the crush that time. Uh, Jack in the box, down four into Jack in the box. Oh my god. Ooh, it's not your turn just yet. Oh, now it is. Honeybee finding some hits. Finding some openings. Wow, look at these staggers. Look at the damage. Trying to catch him with a forward two, but nothing was there. The low's gonna connect. This is big for Sully here. He goes for the down two. A lot of damage on the table here. Good staggers oh coming from Honeybee. Oh boy. Destroyer. I am so nervous for Sully right now. Hey, you're nervous. Oh my goodness. Oh, you look nervous. Hey, you, you look nervous. nervous. You should see me. Oh God. Oh God. What's the setup? He went for the throw. He got it hidden. Not going to convert the sweep. He's backing up now. Oh my goodness. Goes for the cloud. The gun. 15 seconds. Honeybee jumps in. Oh, the throw. Final round. Wow. That was so fucking close. Sully clutching it right there. You haven't seen. 
My goodness, I'm sweating, and we're only like our third match into Champions of the Realms Week 5. Champions of the Realms 2, Week 5, I should say. I don't even know what was going on. He's going to open him up. Honeybee knocks him on the ground, sets up the bug. Goes for the nice overhead. overhead. Oh, interruption on the down one. Okay, beautiful stuff here from Sully. Switching sides as well. Honeybee just going to hold the defensive meter. Gets caught by another throw. This time, Honeybee was expecting the forward throw. Oh, the jump in. The range on that jump in is ridiculous. Trap is out. What's the setup into a throw? Oh, he tried to hit him with a down two. What the hell is happening here? Beautiful stuff there from Honeybee. This is going to hurt quite a bit, but Sully will be close to that Fatal Blow territory. And you know what Joker having that Fatal Blow cancel. Ooh. Such a key tool. He just goes for a rock Dude. off the jump in. Oh my goodness. This is so close. I don't know if this is going to be it, but I remember the last time we saw Joker do a this Fatal puts Blow. Him like 5%. He did a hell of a lot this of damage. Like 5 he goes for the whip forward one, two. Oh. Oh, oh, and the throw! Oh, he didn't have the amplification! Wow, what match awareness from Sully! He saw that Honeybee didn't have the meter to amplify, knew that it was punishable, went for the throw right away, and Sully takes the set! Wow! The Joker wins. Unbelievable plays we just saw coming out of Sully, taking it over Honeybee. Holy cannoli. Holy smokes, that was incredible. What a set there. Honeybee just needed to hold on for like one more second to get that bar of meter and be able to get the amplification out and keep himself safe. But Sully, again, the match awareness, you know, being able to pay attention. I, I imagine he paid attention to the fact that Honeybee did not have the meter to amplify and was ready to punish. Yeah. Oh, no. Honeybee said he picked the wrong variation. Wait, what? Oh no! No, no, no! So we gotta run it back. We gotta run it back. Let's, let's, let's re. Said, no, well, no. He said he gave away a game by picking let, the wrong. Let, let's re. Let's redo the whole. No, no we're doing that. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Sorry to hear that, Honeybee. Yo, B, we we hope to see you again next week, man. You always such a sick competitor with that uh with that Devora. And hey, if any of you guys want to sign up for week six, you can hit exclamation point sign up in the chat and get ready. Week 6 taking place on Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over on my channel, twitch.tv slash caboose. Big shout-outs, though, to Sully, who'll be moving on to face off against Han Rashid. Yup, very good stuff to Sully. Up next, we're going to be having Big Daddy G going up against DJT. This should be a really mm -hmm. good match. Uh, we saw DJT yesterday with the mayor of Nooch in play, man, and he was really, yep. really showing off some hype, hype skills there. And yo, I just want to mention, um, this top eight was fucking filled with MCG. Wow. A lot of, yeah. We had about three three, three members here from MCG. We had Abyss, we had uh, Big Daddy G, and we had uh, Izzy. So if one of these MCG members end up taking it, man. Damn. That, that definitely gives them some good odds, for sure, winning the top eight. Because, I mean... Big Daddy G, he's been playing out of his mind with that Sonya. Izzy, regardless of being sent to the lower bracket, is such an insane competitor. And Abyss right now sitting comfortably in that winner's finals where he'll be awaiting his match against Kerbalicious. But I'm assuming Destroyer up next, we got Big Daddy G and DJT. Yes, this is going to be the last yeah. match for the uh, the round for one the matches. Round. That's right. Yeah. And then we're going to be moving on to the next matches. And we will be getting ourselves our fifth champion for, uh, for tonight. For the finale it's gonna be great man you know we got three more weeks coming yeah. up if you guys want to get signed up for this action you can do so by hitting exclamation point sign up in the chat get yourself signed up please you're not gonna want to miss out on this action you're not gonna want to miss out on this gerson no sir djt gonna be rocking the spawn i think you probably gotta mute djt again Ah, we're gonna, we're, 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 gonna, we're gonna leave the mic on. You know what? We're, we're gonna leave it on for this one. And if he says uh, something crazy, then whatever. Alrighty. Well, here we go. Game one about to be underway between Big Daddy G and DJT. This should be an interesting one. I'm scared I hit this transition and it crashes, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry. Nah, don't worry, don't worry. I don't think it's the transitions that's doing it. But alright. Here we go.
sure as hell fight like a soldier. I fucking I'm hate clowns. Imagine he came through. That he said, I fucking hate Sonya. <laughs> I fucking hate Sonya. I fucking hate Ronda Rousey. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't fucking hate Wanda. So Wanda's the one he's looking for. Yeah, I think so. Oh, 1-1, one, one, back two for the crushing blow there for DJT. He's gonna activate that little plasma pool or plasm pool to get himself the meter back. That is, that is actually a really good build here for uh, for spawn. You need, the, you need that two bar of meter. You get crazy damage off of it, of course. Oh, Whoa. big conversion into the fatal blow. Don't think this is gonna be enough though. Really close. Does this last hit do enough? No, sir, it doesn't. Oh, he absorbed the projectile, but he was out of range. That was so unfortunate for DJT right there, but Big Daddy G capitalizing and taking that match. Yo, you see the little green blood on his in the back of his cape? Yes, I do. Shade, he's gonna have to take that to the cleaners now. <laughs> Damn, if he just canceled the uh, the back forward two after absorbing that projectile, it would have been good. Nicely done. The low connects off that string. Big Daddy G gets a little combo and is sending DJT towards the corner. He's gonna drop it. That was really good stuff. Wow, Big Daddy G laying an onslaught right now on DJT. Oh my goodness, Whoa. gets the jump in and that's game. No breakaway from DJT. And that'll be it. Game one going to Big Daddy G. Who else was it that we saw from uh, DJT? Was it Raiden? He did, Raiden, and that was the one that had that variation in the Mayor of Nooch. That shit was fucking oh, yeah, high, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. When he pulled out that Raiden the other day and he was doing what he was doing, it, it was looking clean. And it was interesting too, because he was using a variation with Raiden that didn't have the, uh, the teleport. And you know, you, you'd immediately think having a, uh, a Raiden on the screen, he's gonna come in with that, with that teleport. Yep. But he said, I fucking hate Sonya. I fucking hate Sonya. Yo, 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 you better relax, Spawn. What she did to you. What Sonya did to you, Spawn. Whoa, no. <laughs> he's losing his mind. I, 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 I keep trying to like pull the mic away from him and he's just like yelling, you know? He said, Wanda, I need Wanda. Pretty really weird. All right, here we go. Game two now. DJT. Did he switch variations? Switches variations to DJT spawn clean. Or DJT spawn clean. I, I, yeah, oh, I because he cleaned the cape. I get it. Oh, right. This is DJT spawn with a clean cape here. Let's see what he's got. Good throw. Raise the white flag. Oh, we're gonna open him up with the low. Oh my god, look at this damage coming out of Mama Blade. Damn! Wowzers. <laughs> Who says she got nerfed? Who says she got nerfed? <laughs> my goodness, Big Daddy G putting on a show right now with this Sonya. 42% one bar. 42% one. 42% one bar. 42% one bar. Look at this. He's gonna get the throw. Next. Good positioning right now from Big Daddy G. I feel like this whole set so far has been DJT kind of stuck on this corner. And Sony just I having her way. I know it's two bars. It's, 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 you know how we made, you remember the joke? Remember 40, 41% one bar is a, is a joke. Is it? Slick shots, all right. Somebody ban slick shots. Nice combo there from DJT, 44%, two bar. One bar, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, he tries to hit him with the attack. Wait a second. Gonna catch him with the low trip. Nice throw. It's still anybody's game to win, but DJT certainly has a chance. No punish there after you got the wake up roll. There was an opportunity there to close out the round. DJT gotta be really careful here to close this out and we'll do so with the amplified <laughs> projectile and then spawn in the middle of the round goes, what? Nah. <laughs> Yo, that win round taunt is the best win round taunt in the game. Free. 
This man was literally losing his mind right there. A lot of projectiles being thrown up by both of these players right now. A very interesting match. I'm not sure what, what happened, but there's just a complete tonal shift. Ooh. Yeah, these guys went from the ultimate pressure to the ultimate zone war. Seriously. Oh, nice. Get the cross up. DJT has the life lead by a decent amount. Enough to want to continue this zoning, I imagine. Being real careful with it, though. Goes for the sweet, beautiful stuff. Oh, he had the round. He had the game. Oh, no. This could be this could be scary. Destroy. Oh, but he's going to connect the projectile. All Big Daddy G needed to do there is just try and get in before one bar of meter was built up. Wasn't able to do that, though. And DJT is going to tie this set up. And he's going to take a seat in the throne and go, <laughs> Where's Wanda? Where's Wanda? Wanda! Another soul from Malboja. There you have it, folks. Another soul for Malboja. You heard it here. You heard it right here. Where? Same. Where did I hear it? You heard it right here. Another soul for Malboja. Where did I hear it? Right here, you heard it, folks. Stand down. Where? I'm gonna get this guy some milk. Somebody get this guy some milk. Please. What, Vex milk or? Yeah, if you got the Vex milk, I'll take some. Round one, fight. Okay, here we go. Game three. All tied up. Nice. Back one to anti-air there into the projectile. By projectiles, nicely done there from Big Daddy G. Over the jump in, forward four, and another amplified projectile. Ooh, He's gonna get tagged right there. Very interesting, but Big Daddy G with the neutral jump. Cashing out for a nice juicy combo there with the knockdown. Oh my god, look at this pressure coming out of Big Daddy G here. Trying to go for a down two, got flawless block there. Oh, oh no, that's, that's the round. Yo, close that's your eyes. Round. Close your eyes, bro. Round. Close your eyes. Weird. Look at this. He, he pressed like four buttons total. Look how much damage he's gonna do. Close your eyes. Look how much damage he pressed like four buttons. Look how much damage. Close your eyes. Look at, this. Look at the damage. Close, Look at the damage. Close your eyes. 53% and all he did all he did he, he pressed grab and then he pressed forward two that was a forward two three and then fatal blow Fight. Five, I think five buttons 53% four buttons 53% <laughs> no bar 53% no bar hold on that's the new one we're doing now that's the new one Nice tech on the throw there. DJT gonna get the standing 3-4 into the charging hell spawn, but the breakaway, of course, from Big Daddy G to avoid some additional damage. Throw will connect. He's looking for that crush. DJT not really in the position to trade projectiles. Needs to find a way to get in. Gotta be real careful. Nice down one. A good tech on the throw there from Big Daddy G. Oh, he wasn't in the range for that back one, unfortunately, and got punished for it. And good stuff. Big Daddy G will tie up these rounds. My goodness. What a tight set so far. Both of these players really playing patiently. After a after first game that was pretty action-packed and very much both these players being in their face in each other's faces it seems like the pace has been significantly slowed down oh. wow 
Wow, look at these. Look at these setups right now from Big Daddy G. Into the throw. Taking control in this final round. Oh, he landed the overhead. Wasn't able to get anything else off of it. Oh, man, it's so close, Destroyer. All it takes is one charging hell spawn, though, for DJT to be pretty oh, much caught up. He tried to yo, go for a I was just about to say, you called it. Spawn. You called it. You said one charging hell spawn, but Big Daddy G had the stream open, and he said, Caboose, no fucking way he's going to hit me with that shit. I guess so. 2 1 now for Big Daddy G. I can't, I can't say how many times I have seen a raw charging hell spawn thrown out. Oh, okay. Oh, I see you. I see you. I see you. Who do you see? You can't do that now, though, can you? No, no, no. Damn. Shipping and Pipo, where where can I find <laughs> uh, Shipping and Pipo? Uh, yeah. Okay, somebody said in the chat, DQ Caboose for coaching the commentary. All right, guys. I got to go. No, 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 leave him, leave him, leave him. We need him in case, uh, in case shit goes, goes haywire. I gotta go. Come on, bro. Bro, come on, bro, don't, bro, don't. Come on, man. You got a problem? You got a fucking problem? Yeah. You got a problem, kid? I'm curious to see what's going to go down here. You know, now that DJT is down 2-1 to one against uh, Big Daddy G, like... Oh, wait, what? He made the character switch to Rain? What kind of shit is this? This man, yo, this dude literally just whipped out the Toto Teta Purple Edition. Gonna try to dish it out to the Sonya. No pain, no rain, he said. Flawless block there. I like these the little water splashes he's doing here. Holy shit. The Ronda okay, Rousey okay. roundhouse kick. Sending this bitch across the screen. Big Daddy G needs to do something now or never. Gonna go with the onion rings. Try to open them up, but DJT with a down two of a lifetime. I don't know what's going on in the chat. I'm just gonna look away. Why? What happened? Daddy D kinda getting zoned out. I mean, that rift is definitely what doing happened, What happened to the chat? Here. Don't worry about it. Why are you so worried about it? Oh, shit. Yo, Sir Kaka Pee Pee. Is what that, is that true, uh, sir? Kaka pee pee. What? I don't know, man. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna have to take you to court. Oh, big crush there for DJT. No conversion, though. Yo, you think I gotta get in contact with sir? Kaka pee pee. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Big Daddy G is having a hard time dealing with his rain. This character switch coming from DJT seems to be faring him pretty well here. Very much working right now. Absolutely. There's the anime slice that everyone loves so much. A little water splash. Don't know how that move does any damage. He just splashes water at your feet. Crash was cracking my fucking stream is that goddamn water splash. <laughs> Throws that shit on all my wires. Fatal Blow is ready for DJT. Same with Big Daddy G, though. Oh, he tried to go in for a grab. And DJT is going to lose that round. Now going to another final round, but also a match point scenario for Big Daddy G. A very slow-paced, methodical set that we've been having here, Destroyer. You are right about that, man. This has been very slow-paced. Good throw counter. He's going to hit him with a slam. Oh, the neutral duck there off the throw attempt. Nothing comes of it though, just a little string. Doesn't try to commit to a full combo, gets a grab. Splashed by some water. 
a slice. Slice and dice. Slice and dice. Yeah. Mm, like Jump in, but didn't convert. Back to two. Down oh, one, down one crab. again. The throw like escape. That. Rip is open. Guitar toss. Oh my god, the back and forth zone war here. This match is about to go on for ages. Got caught by the overhead. Oh. This is so scary, Destroyer. This is so scary. 26 seconds left on the clock. If DJT takes this, he wins. Unless... D or sorry, if Big Daddy G takes this, he wins. Unless DJT can manage to get that fatal blow and take it to a game five. Can he do it? 15 seconds. You don't. Oh, nice amplified projectile. Turret drop gets flawless block. 10 seconds left. Ah! The throw connects. Oh, this he is going to be scary. He needs time. more. Five seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And that's going to be it. Oh, DJ T. Oh, my God. He, he would have won, won that if he had the full damage. Time. He would have won that if he had the full damage, bro. Oh, man. If so he had literally one support. more second to go for that throw, he would have been able to take this to a game five. But alas... Big Daddy G will be moving on. Beautiful stuff. And he's going to hit him with a fatality. He's going to send Reigns head flying. Look at his leg all the way on the right side. He'll be all right. He's going to be okay, right? <laughs> Listen, as long as we got Kano to come through, pick up the pieces, we could probably get him pieced together for sure. Yeah. He's going to turn into uh, Hydro. He's going to turn into a piece. He's going to turn into a piece of lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry, sorry. I leaked the, uh, I leaked. You leaked the DMs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I leaked our DMs, dude. Nobody was supposed to see that. I'm going to have to fucking go at the face of the, you know, I'm going to go to that planet that, uh, Luke Skywalker was at where he was drinking that Vex milk. <laughs> He's drinking the Vex milk. From that huh? creature. I'm going to pull up yeah. over there and I'm going to say, yo, let me get some. Anyways, guys, these matches have been absolutely insanity. We're going to try to breeze them as fast as possible because, uh, I just want to I want to get through this tournament already. Uh, we got Big Daddy G moving on to face off against Izzy and Rashid going up against Sully. And then in the winner's final, we got Abyss versus Kerbalicious. Uh, again, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Um, and yeah, man, this tournament series has been great. We've been having a couple technical issues here and there with my OBS, but I think I might have found the issue. If you guys want me to be transparent for you, I went into the stream logs and it looks yeah. like the uh, the NVIC encoder I'm using is what's fucking shit up. So if this does happen to get uh, again, I'm gonna switch to the other encoder for the CPU. And dude, hopefully this fixes everything. Cause I, I'm just trying to run this fucking show for you guys. You know, this is the last thing I want is to deal with these issues. When shit like this happens, it is just so annoying. You have no idea. And yeah. uh, you know, I, I I see there's like some people that have no fucking common sense at all, and they're immediately saying, "Oh man, this guy has no stable connection, dude." Like, I got some fucking really good hardware, but sometimes shit happens, and there's you know, what do you want me to do? Sometimes you take a shit, yeah. I'm gonna huh? go take a shit, and when I get back, guys, we're gonna continue this top eight action. All right, are we going to break? Is that? <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Champions of the Realms 2, week five. We got our top eight action going down today. I already saw some incredible matches take place so far. And man, it is not over yet. We got some more hype to bring for you guys here in just a moment. So far in the bracket, we got in the winner's final, Kerbalicious and Abyss. Then in the loser's quarterfinal, we have Han Rashid and Sully. And then as well, Izzy and Big Daddy G. So the competition is heating up here. This will be the fifth qualifier for Champions of the Realms season two and uh it's just gonna get more and more insane each and every week i'm telling you as there as there's less slots to get or less slots to obtain to make it to that finale it's just gonna get crazier but okay our next match already underway we got han rashid and sully ready to go right away i see fujin i see joker this should be good this is the loser side of the bracket so you know what that means they're fighting for the tournament life here so here we go game one about to be underway and we saw Sully send uh, Honeybee out of the tournament, so we know this guy's no joke. Yeah, I mean, this joke, I mean, wait, did you, did you say that intentionally? Was that a pun? Why? Because you said he's no joke? <laughs> you dude. I don't know. It just I, it, it, yeah, it just, it just played out that way. 
but that was definitely unintentional. He's going to shoot the bows twice. Let's see what happens here. He's going to send out the jack in the box. Good jump in from Han Rashid. Another jump in. He's going to catch a conversion here. That's a punish there after the breakaway and the overcommitment on the combo from Han Rashid. Now Sully will have this corner and the fatal blow is ready. That cancel. Oh, but he's oh going to just go for the fatal blow. God, not like is that this. Good? Is that going to be enough? Is that going to be enough? Did he do some damage before? Yeah, I think he's dead. He did. He's he dead. Comboed into it. He is. Wow, Joker's fatal blow does so much. It does not scale at all. That was about Jesus. 42 pipos right in his fucking face. Right in his shippadin. I'm liking this jumping all around coming from Sully here. And the movement too, man. The movement from this entire top eight, uh, the entire top eight competitors have been so great. These guys are moving around so fluid. And listen, I've been playing this game on PC and yeah. I'm not trying to shit talk the console, but Ooh. I got to give kudos to the, the movement these guys are doing on console. Shit is, is too clean. Yeah, it's it, apparently just on PC. Everything's just like hella smooth, huh? Oh, you gotta try it sometime. It's so nice. Oh, I might have to. Nice back one here into the combo in the corner. Han Rashid showing off the flashiness with the Fujin, as we've come to expect. Fujinistics. Nice throw. Amplifies the projectile there. That's a good trade for Han. Oh, he tried to get the grab. Just out of range. The short hop out of nowhere. Going to catch a little down poke in the kneecaps. Wow, just a raw warp needle. Not something you see often. Just for the down two. Try to keep it optimal, but wasn't able to connect the second down two. I'm sorry. Back two. Fujin, Hunter, she just jumping all over the place. Ooh, gets caught here, though. Doesn't have the defense meter to break away just yet. He's going to have to eat this. We'll break away towards the end of the combo. Has the fatal blow. Oh, we're Not going to be it. enough, though. Pull it Sully. To the base. Sully will take game one. Man, I Sully think, playing Fujin's out of his be okay. mind. <laughs> dude, really? This dude, yeah, he'll be okay. he's missing half his fucking head. He's, he's fine. Look, look, he's just. He'll get up. I mean, he's still, he still got his ponytail, so he's chilling on that aspect. Yeah, I think he just got to walk it off. He'll be, he's okay. You just give him a bottle of Vex milk and he's good to go. <laughs> he'll, be, he'll be up and at him. Just give him a bottle of Vex milk and he's going to be good to go. That's it. All right, here we go. Fujin. What a win there from Sully. This Joker is is nuts. The Joker. Still such a solid character, especially in the hands of someone like Sully. Really utilizing the character to its fullest extent. <laughs> Salted Peanut, what? that is the greatest combination of emotes right there. I, that's my favorite Caboose Destroyer combo. Wait, where, where, where? The Salted Peanut. Trying to find it. How far did you scroll up? Did it, I miss it? Salted peanut? So the oh, oh, tossing the leche, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one actually. Wait, what the fuck is that e emo combination I'm looking at here? Bro. <laughs> Wait, wait. Holy <laughs> shit. Is, is that what I'm seeing? Chill. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Slow down. How did that emo, how did that emo get approved? Relax. How relax. Did that, how did that emo get approved? Relax. Yo. Oh, Try to flawless block. The amplified warp needle wasn't able to, though. And Han Rashid is going to continue the pressure. Out for the, proje the projectiles. Oh, nicely done. The punish with the crossbow. Honor, she takes the round. Very good stuff, man. Sully really trying to keep it together here. Oh, 
We try to hit him with the Jack in the Box. Oh, the jump in. Here we go. Hammer Sheet catching one of the infamous conversions. Wow. We've been seeing these all day coming from him. Nice. A back two into the crossbow. On Rashid, very much in control of this game. Try to go for a short hop. Good tech on the throw. Okay. Now it's time for Sully to get some momentum. Oh, what a conversion. You, you 41% know. one bar. You know that, right? 41% <laughs> one bar. Yeah, I know that. Oh, yeah, I know that. All right. Oh, that's an armor broken fatal blow. Reset on the damage. This could potentially be it. Oh, yeah, he's no, dead. Actually, I don't no, know. he's dead. Is he? Oh, yeah. 47%. It's not enough, though. And the forward one string will do it. And I just want to let you guys know, read the name Sully OP. If you ever watched the movie Monster is Incorporated, then you might know this big monster, this big fuzzball, oh, man. This is what's tough, too, is the fact that Han she spent that defensive meter breaking away from that fatal blow. 41% one bar again. Oh, my God. Two 41% one bars back to back. He's going to hit him with the drill. Oh, down nice. two. Anti -air. Hits him with the jack in the box. This is big, Sully. Wow. We're going to take this out. Guaranteed wow. damage and the triple down wow. two combo. Teta Toto going to take it. Sully OP going up 2-0 on Holy Han Rashid. Yes, that was looking like Han Rashid's game to win. And then all of a sudden, a fatal blow lands off of a breakaway and everything changes. Now Sully up 2-0. Mm -hmm. He might be he might be making a run with this Joker, man. He might be making a run with this Joker. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I know a lot of people are keeping their eye on competitors like Kerbalicious or Abyss or even someone like a young prodigy like Izzy. But you got to watch out from this Joker. <laughs> oh, shit. A, you got angry. You got aggressive. <laughs> Let's see what Hammer Sheet's gonna do here. No way this dude's gonna switch to spawn. I don't believe it. To switch to spawn. Are we really witnessing this character switch right now coming out of Hammer Sheet? Making the switch to spawn. No way. Jose! Oh, bops him right in the head. Nice. Good throw. I'm sorry. Listen, that's exactly what he needs to do here. He needs to go for Spawn's ball sack if he wants to win this set. You said Cabal sack? Cabal sack. Tries to go for the down one to get some guaranteed pressure, but wait a second. Hand Rashid with the jump three cancel. Ooh. That was, that was cute. That Letha Glide can be pretty intense to deal with. Nice amplified jack in the box. He's gonna get the ball buster's delight. How many times have we seen that grab already? Sully. He has a really good life lead here. Letha gliding like a maniac, and Sully just needs one more touch to go with a match point. Oh, trading on projectiles. He's a couple more hits in for those trades to even be considered worth it. Now we're just about tied up on the health bars. He is shooting some projectiles out. Amplified jack bucks. He is oh, shooting in pipo. Now this is this is bad. Gotta be really careful if you're Sully. Ron Rashid wanting to close this out though. One bar of defensive meter eaten up to avoid ship, oh. and that'll be it off the amplified projectile. Ron Rashid is staying alive and spawn will go. Let's go. Let's go. That's a big punish right there. Gonna go into the Kapow. How much damage minus, are we looking at? Minus 652, honestly. You gotta be so careful. Yeah. And, he's good, nice charge to go. and he, block. he went for the Amplified Dragon in the Box, looking for the Armor Breaker, but Han Rashid not giving it to him. Let's go. Let's go. Useless. Oh, nice back one to Anti here. Let's go. That's the corner. Ooh, that's a counter with the forward two string into a crushing blow. Wait, is this going to be 41% one bar? Let's go. 41% one bar. Was it really? It was. Very good stuff. Goes with the down four. And there we go. Sully right now sitting on a match point situation. Up 2-0 on 
Hand machine! Okay, what's that? Okay, I, I don't know what the hell that was. You okay? Hey, Boots, don't say that again, bro. You sound like you, you bugging. I, I, I didn't, I, I didn't, I... What do you mean? You sound like you part of the Gersening. I am. Oh, man, the double down two combo is so sick. You sound like you're Gersen. Oh, I am. Nicely done, winding up the jack in the box, Ooh. but still gonna get punished after the delayed wake up. The I believe. Theta explosion right there to the chest. Oh, this could spell the end for Han Rashid. So long as what Sully connects, and he will. My God, Sully is ridiculous, man. This Joker is nuts. This what Joker is absolutely insane. What was that combo? I don't know, but Sully has now eliminated Han Rashid from the tournament and will be moving on awaiting the winner between Izzy and Big Daddy G. Can I ask you what was that combo? Yo, well, yeah. Ask me. What was that combo, man? This guy just hit him with literally a 41% one bar combo at the end there and closed it out. That Joker is literally playing from another reality, Caboose. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> this fucking guy's nuts. Listen, a lot of you have been wondering why the stream's been <laughs> crashing recently. And that's the fucking reason right there. That's the reason right there. It's this guy. He's the he reason. The production. He's I don't the, know who you pointed he's, at. He's the reason. I don't know who you pointed at. All right. We're going to get the next match started. We got Izzy. Going up against Glizzy. <laughs> no, no, no. Big Daddy, Big Daddy G. We got Izzy going up against Big Daddy G. <laughs> Yo, this kid's dying, bro. He, he's fucking killing me right now. <laughs> he said, we got Izzy going up against Glizzy. <laughs> I can't even, I can't even type. Uh, I'm Big Daddy G. Oh, hold on, dude. This is yeah. some fucked up shit. Um, we didn't mean for this to happen, but it seems like there's been a lot of team kills going on here. <laughs> Uh, the MCGs have been fighting each other off, unfortunately. And it looks like it's going to happen again because we have Big Daddy G going up against I I Izzy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> oh, man, I can't keep it together. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> Yo, those predictions better say Izzy and Glitzy. <laughs> Who's about <laughs> to say Big Sonya G? It's Izzy versus Glizzy. Who messed up the prediction? <laughs> I had to get off stuff the screen because I'm fucking crying right now, bro. Holy shit. Yo, I... <laughs> that thing, uh... Oh. That went to another level right there. That was oh, funny. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Listen, if, if he doesn't change his name to uh, to Glizzy after that, <laughs> then the... Uh, Big Daddy Glizzy, that's what the G says for Big Daddy Glizzy. <laughs> the Joker. Sonya. <laughs> the fucking G stands for Glizzy. I'm dead. We gotta, we gotta get a confirmation. <laughs> we gotta get a confirmation from the oh, from the Mystery oh. Clan Gaming. Holy fuck, oh, man! Holy <laughs> shit! Hopefully the stream is uh is stable now. All right, oh, let's God. let's get into this. Holy shit! Okay. Game one, Izzy versus Glizzy underway, and Izzy's gonna be rocking the Joker, facing off, got, facing off against the fourth Big Daddy G with Sonya, as per usual. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even think about it. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. All right. I gotta keep it together. I gotta keep it together. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Sorry. Right. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. You know they're gonna get a uh, caboose to, to cast the next Joker for Injustice Three. <laughs> I'm gonna use my lab. Uh, yo, it, oh. it would fit. I'm not. Li I'm not lying. Oh, you, you'd make shit. a good Joker. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh, that was actually kind of a sick flawless block there from Izzy, but he was out of range on the up to wake up, unfortunately, as the fatal blow. Down four into Jack in the box. Oh, wait, do I got the names right? No, oh, one of them doesn't take Glizzy. <laughs> All right, yo. Yo, better. Wait, wait! Bro. Oh. <laughs> so, if you look at the name MCG, you can kind of. <laughs> Got it in there. He's got it in there. I honestly feel like this is why he named himself Izzy. So he can fulfill the prophecy. <laughs> this is MC Glizzy. I don't know if you guys see it properly. Mick, but. Mick Glizzy. <laughs> Mick Glizzy. This is savage. Nice. Down two crush. Izzy. <laughs> Going for another down two to guarantee the damage. Oh, he lands a forward throw. That's going to be a crushing blow. I don't think it'll be enough. Oh, my God. Her. I mean, it's not enough, but no. why he had to do it like that? Chip avoidance. He got rid of both bars of defensive meter, but now he's got to be so careful as to not let Big Daddy G in, and the down one will do it. Tying up the rounds. Beautiful stuff there from Izzy staying alive. Super clean, man. And I'm a little surprised here. Uh, is he going with the Joker? Like, I think there's. A, I did not know he had a Joker in his arsenal. Me neither. Izzy's uh kind of full of surprises tonight. Didn't he? Did he throw? He has a rain too, right? He had a rain. We saw uh, Jackie Briggs, Shang Tsung. Obviously, Sub Zero. And do it. I most recognized him for. And, and he's doing work with all of them too. Yeah, very talented. Talented competitor. Oh my God! They're jumping. Oh, nice. That could have been he huge. Had it. Oh no! This is not good. Went for the down two. Smart of Izzy to notice that that was coming. Just could actually saw the end. Wait a second, destroyer. No defensive meter available on Big Daddy. She's in a combo in the fatal ball. I think he's dead. I think, dead. I think he's dead. This does I so much fucking damage. Oh, 100 percent. 100 percent. He's not surviving Izzy that. Takes game one with the combo into fatal blow. Good stuff. Oh god, I'm still recovering. <laughs> MC Glizzy. <laughs> it's the ultimate one, man. Very good stuff. Taking game number one on Big Daddy G. Another thing I'm curious to know, uh, because we did have a lot of MCGs going at it tonight. I wonder yeah. if these guys practice together a lot. Because if that's the case, oof, that makes these matches so much more uh tough, you know, for these competitors. Being like in the same team. And then having these players as training partners. Ooh. Yeah. Let's yeah. see what happens. Big Daddy G going to fall short. I mean, that, that set was super close. Could have been any man's game there. Oh, wow. Feels like every set today has not had, like, a very, very convincing winner. I will say, though, like, obviously, Sully did a really good job against Han Rashid, but even in that set, there was a hell of a back and forth between the competitors. Doesn't feel like anybody's really just steamrolled through the entirety of the top eight so far. But okay. Going now into game two. Izzy up 1-0 against Big Daddy G. Big Daddy Totinski. Ooh, putting the puppet down. Very good stuff. He's going to catch a nice conversion off a of forward 2-1 into the uh, Kapow. Oh, nice. Done. And I love how the awareness from Izzy, you know, he's not going off of his fatal blow, not fatal blow, he's not going off of his crushing blow just yet. You know, saving his resources, waiting for kind of a, a, a more sticky situation for himself to occur before going off of that resource. Smart man, smart man. Oh, nice whip punish there. Izzy just in complete control right now, having a really good round. Let's see how Big Daddy G is going to find a way to answer. Fight. Oh, good stuff. Nice little counter there from Big Daddy G. And the full string. And the throw. Jump for those projectiles. 
trades there that time with the jack in the box. Interrupts the turret drop to the gunshot. You said he interrupted the turtles? He interrupted, yeah, the Ninja Turtles. They got the, the new movie. Nice Ooh. wake up. Let, let me wow. tell you, man. Sully does have access to that fatal blow. He's got cancels locked and loaded. And he has a Sully? super... Izzy, sorry. I, I got confused because the Joker's on screen. Right, right, right. Oh, oh remember, this could I, be I told you. He, I think that's I told you he I, I, saved it for the is moment. That the game? Is that the game? I mean, bro. Fatal, uh, he fatal not. blow straight after the crushing blow. No, I it think, is. I think he's it dead. Is. Yep, it is. Oh, my God. Izzy, twice in a row, complete highway robbery with that fatal blow. And there's really nothing that Big Daddy G could do except take that. I mean, even with the defensive meter, if he broke away, then it guarantees yourself the loss on that game. Izzy up 2-0 now with this Joker. You don't impress me! You don't impress you okay? me. okay? I didn't say nothing. What the fuck you asking me? Did something happen? I was asking Kotal if he was okay. I can't ask him. Kotal, are you okay? You can't talk to Kotal? You, you don't, you, so I can't talk you to Kotal is what you're you, saying. You don't impress you. you you don't. So Kodo, you, like, I can't talk. You, you don't impress me. You can. Kodo said, what do you want? I want him to, to, to shut his you mouth. Don't, Tell him I said that. You don't impress me. Yo, you won't believe what he just said to you. What did he say? Kodo. You want to tell him again? You don't impress me. Wow. Wow. Yo, Spain, you do. Spain, you do. The positive music. Positive music. Hold on. Let Koto talk. Let Koto talk. Koto, what do you have to say to Caboose? You don't impress me. Holy shit. Why? Why doesn't he impress you? What about me? Do I impress you? You don't impress me. Oh. Wow. Koto's. He's, he's unhinged. He's out of control. I was on his side, but fuck that piece of shit. He's, he's unhinged. Nah, yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, Kabooz. My bad. Nah, it's all good. I mean, as we're going over all that, though, by the way, Big Daddy G switching over to Liu Kang. I haven't seen him play anybody but Sonya in a minute. Listen, we're gonna have to get, we're gonna have to up the security, and we're gonna yeah. have to keep Kodo out the, out the, out the studio, bro, because I agree. He's causing a lot of problems. I think that's the reason the stream's been crashing these past couple weeks. I thought I it was me. Nah. You can't, said it, it was can't me. Be. You said it was me. No, uh... I know what it is. I know what it is. I know what it is. Me. <laughs> Izzy right now going up game number one. Big Daddy Glizzy's gonna have to do something here. Match, yeah, match point right now for Izzy. Nice. Forward one. Oh. Into the bicycle kick. Gonna amplify it twice. One more amplification. And he has that crushing blow locked and loaded. Try to go for a throw. Not gonna land. Gets another one though. Oh, oh my crushed. god! I had no idea. A lot of damage coming on the table there. God. Oh god, destroyer. I'm so scared that this is gonna get Bro. robbed again. But no, the command grab. Yo, I just wanna now mention something. Back. I'm a little like. Sometimes me and Caboose, we, we, we get a little overboard and we start talking about some nonsense, but bro, I just now realized going into game round three here, that Big Daddy G's playing with Liu Kang? I don't think that I've just ever... Hit. That just hit me. I don't think I've ever seen him make a character switch off of Sonya mm. before. This is the first time I've ever seen it. And he's doing fairly well. Nice cross up. The forward two to connect. Has this corner control. Scary positioning for... Big Daddy G to be in, but he gets out and gets a combo. Try to go for the command grab. Oh my god. It's gonna get robbed again. It's gonna get robbed again. That's three games in a row. That's 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 three games in a row. Alright, I'm gonna end the stream. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. And I just wanna say everybody have a have a good one, alright? I I uh <laughs> <laughs> We're back.
with more Champions of the Realms action. So uh, we saw some pretty unfortunate shit go down there. Three games in a row. Uh, just wrong place, wrong time for Big Daddy G, where he either, he either had the lack of defensive meter or got caught in a crushing blow that guarantees a win into Fatal Blow. <laughs> Izzy, three games in a row, wins off a combo that into was Fatal rough. Blow. That was rough. That's, that's, that's hella unfortunate. <laughs> uh, Very unfortunate. We're going to be moving in to our win we usually do winner's final now right uh yeah right winner's final i forgot yeah, we, we have to don't we winner's final so then then the loser goes into loser's final then we run loser semis and then loser's final yes all right so it's about to go down we're getting into the winner's final folks this is it abyss is going to be going up against kerbalicious or kerbalicious as some people may say and this is a very interesting matchup we have here. You know, Abyss has been playing out of his mind the entire uh, entire weekend on Wednesday and in this top eight pool play, earning himself a spot in that winner's final. And this match is going to guarantee, uh, I think, both these players in the money. <laughs> what a creative way to, to set the names for this next match. <laughs> one of them is too slow and the other one is down for a slide. <laughs> Who are you going to bet on? You're going to bet on Kerbalicious there with too slow. Or you'd be betting on Abyss with down four into slide. Who are you betting on here? Yo, right. Spicy, I got you. I'll buy you. You want a pineapple pizza? Where you, you want from Giovanni's? Let me call up. I'll call up Giovanni's. I got you. Listen, I, I hate to put you on the spot, but if you were to bet on somebody during this match, who, who'd you yeah. put your money on? I mean, my initial bias to Noob Saiba being objectively the greatest created character in the history of Mortal Kombat makes me want to say Abyss, but Kerbalicious has been on a tear for the last two weeks. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to stop him because his cabal would say... Can anyone stop me? Can anyone too stop slow, me? Too slow, too slow. Got any, the spins, anyone, got the spins. Me? Can anyone stop me? We should honestly open up week six with just that. <laughs> just <laughs> that nothing, intro. nothing but... Just too anyone, slow, anyone, got the spins. Anyone. And I'm talking about a full three hours straight of that shit. <laughs> who's ready? I want to see in the chat right now who's ready for that. Who's I'm, ready for the chat? I'm who's ready. ready for that in the chat. I'm ready for that. Did the spicy respond? Where is he? Oh, okay, he said yes, please. All right, I'll call, I'll call up Giovanni's for you. Ooh. You going to get this guy Giovanni's pizza? He wants the pineapple pizza, you know? What edition are you going to give him? The special edition, the deluxe edition with the pre-order bonus. Oh, shit. With the exclusive God of War skin? Dude, <laughs> I, haven't had, I haven't had one of those pizzas in a minute. I'm not going to lie. And that's exclusive from Giovanni's. If you're not getting your pizzas from Giovanni's, I promise you right now, you're not going to get that pre-order yeah. bonus. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's about to go down. We got Abyss going up against Carbalicious. Winner's final. The winner of yep. this is going to get a nice, comfy spot into the grand finals winner side. And you know what we all say about that, man. That grand finals winner side is it's a good spot to be in. It's yes, definitely sir. a good yeah. spot to be in. That is, uh, that is, that, that's going to keep it comfortable. Give you that cushion of being able to, like, take three games against your opponent if you needed to. Although, has it been has it been the last two weeks in a row that we've seen someone win Champions of the Realms like a week on the loser side? Yes. Yeah, right? Yes, yeah, two weeks in a row. Yo, come on, let's get this match started. <laughs> who was it week three? Who was it week three? Like who won week three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I got the list. Okay, so, so week four, that was Biohazard with the comeback against Kerbalicious. And then week three, Week three, I, was, uh, week three was Pulse. Pulse, Pulse was week three. Yeah. Pulse was pulsating. He was pulsating for sure. But okay, here we go. First game underway between Abyss and Kerbalicious. This is the winner's final. The winner of this match heads into the grand finals on the winner's side. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, I like this new Cybot skin. Gonna put you down for good. Let's do this. Can anyone suck? Can anyone? Can anyone suck? Round one. Fight. That's the intro dialogue. Did you? Did you hear it? I must have. Uh, <laughs> I must have not updated my game to ultimate. I might be missing some uh, some dialogue. Yo, this looked like a button check. Put these guys in her. You saw that shit? Kind of just staring each other down in the beginning of that match there. 
smacking each other. Nicely done. Two and two in this Ooh. line. Abyss is going to catch the throw. Too slow. Oh, the anti air. Wow. That's another thing uh, Kerbalish is going to have to watch out for. Jumping in on, on Abyss. I feel like if he's got these anti airs. What? Like stream 42% one bar. Bro. No. Come on, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you were freaking out. <laughs> Open up everything. Oh, that's a big combo there from Kerbalicious. Sorry, I cut you off, bro. <laughs> Terrified. Holy smokes, Kerbalicious with a ridiculous couple of combos. And he's going to continue the onslaught, maintaining this corner pressure. Into a throw setup. Okay, I like it. Kerbalicious with a flawless round so far. Too slow. Oh my God! The gas leap into the combo extension. He's hitting for a lot of damage here. Abyss is in trouble. Kerbalicious gonna get the jump That's in. That's, oh no! no. Oh, imagine I commentators cursed that, and Abyss was able to make a crazy comeback or something. I would have started screaming. Left, I would have started Never screaming, bro. Nevertheless, it looks like Kerbalicious. Makes it happen, closes out that game. He's up one nothing now. I would have started oozing. Oozing what? Vex, Vex milk. milk. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you already knew. You already knew. Kerbalicious. You had to confirm. Kerbalicious taking game number one right now over Abyss. Let's see if Abyss is going to be able to tighten things up a bit. I mean, all he really needs to do... Now, I'm not trying to say I'm a, a noob cyborg, you know, a specialist or anything. But from my speculation of the character, I think he just needs to play that safe game. He needs to play the lame game, force Kerbalicious in, and then just push him out. If you get what I'm saying. With the shadows and all that juicy shit. Yep. Definitely got to slow down the pace. Can't allow Kerbalicious to get things going with that cabal. All right, though. Game number two. Immediately does the air dash in. Good throw. Good throw. <laughs> Yo, I knew you were going to say that. That's crazy. <laughs> I saw that one coming. Nice. Oh, he almost knocked him out of the air and caught a crazy conversion, but didn't happen. The jo Yo, what is that tech, bro? That called ball sack tech right there is insane. <laughs> No, no, sorry. That Cabal Sack tech right there is nuts. Oh, yo, that was a nice anti-air there from Abyss. And to a throw, good stuff. Kerbalicious now going to take the corner. Oh, I just wake up button. Too slow! Yo, he's oh, going he crazy. Really went for yeah, that he's hook. going crazy. Did he want maybe the, uh, like a counter or a punish or something? He wanted the shit with a pipe. Some sort of uh, crush and blow, maybe. I don't know. He wanted a little, a little bit of shipping and pipe, but he didn't get it. He didn't get the shipping and he definitely didn't get the pipe. -o. Bro, and there's a lot of whiffing on these jump crossover ones right now coming Ow. from Kerbalicious. But he's still in this. Abyss up one round. Good block on the rob. Nomad dash. Holy shit. Was that close? Flawless blocked the two, so reacted just in time. Gonna get punished, though, after committing to that amplified slide. Kerbalicious. Ooh, tried to get a full combo off that. Wasn't able to. Oh my goodness. That jumping into the teleport. Such a clean combo from Abyss, who's certainly woken up after what happened in that last game. Lands the two, the, yeah, the two and two. Oh, what a combo. Oh, my God. What's happening? I don't know. Abyss, though, he's coming back strong. He's going to take that game power up and boom, exploding, throwing the shadow everywhere. You know that outro? is the equivalent of Noob, noob Saibot busting a nut. Okay, we gotta shut down the stream. <laughs> I'm serious. Read up, re read up on the lore. Shut, shut it all down. Come on, read up on the lore, please. Shut, shut everything down. Noob Saibot, come Is on. that security? All right, sorry. No, no, no. What do you mean? Well, whatever. Yo. What? They said they're taking away all my rights, all my, all my, all my privileges as a, as a Champions of the Realms member. Oh, so I'm taking over? 
Uh, Alright. What do you mean, new cyber? Right, ladies and gentlemen. New cyber was busting a nut in the outro. What do you mean, goddammit? I didn't okay, do that. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Security. I didn't do nothing wrong. Get him out of here. I didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> Yo, relax. Relax. <laughs> nice anti air there from Abyss. Really starting to take control of this matchup right now. Back one into the slide once again. You know, just like we mentioned, leading into game two, kind of needed to <laughs> slow down the pace a little bit, keep Kerbo out. That's exactly what Abyss has been doing, and he's been doing it real well. What happened? Bro. What? Bro. Bro, this chat is incredible, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. You saw who, who, made, who made a debut in the chat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What a combo, 35% there for Turbalicious, and he's gonna get that jump in, taking the round. Round two, fight. Big back one string, that is going to be a whiff punish and a half if I've ever seen one. Back one in the slide attempt gets blocked. The raw Nomad dash, not gonna work. Abyss has been ready for those. <laughs> he tried to short hop, but Abyss swinging. Good down four. I corrected myself this time, okay? So you guys uh, relax. It's down four, okay? I got it right this time. Yo, look at this combo. Uh, this is it. 40%. 40 oh, close. So close. 40% one point. He, he was missing one touch to make that his uh, signature. Oh, my God. Yeah, you, this is crazy. How do you stop him? How do you stop him? No, can, this, oh, can my God. Can anyone stop me? The down one will do it. He actually did have the defensive meter to survive some chip, but my goodness, the pressure was relentless. And Kerbalicious goes up 2-1 now. Can any, can, can any, can any, can any, can, 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 can anyone stop it's, me? It's just the, the speed of that character, man. I mean, I guess, I guess it makes sense, can, all things considered. Can any, can anyone, can anyone stop me? Can anyone, can anyone? Team Smile! Can anyone? Can anyone? All right, I think I might have just ruptured my 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 lungs. Can, any, can anyone? Can anyone? Can anyone? Can anyone stop me? Somebody stop this man! Somebody stop me! Thank you for the sub. Everybody that subbed and, and and oh also please do me a big favor. If you're not following the channel, we're nearing thirty thousand followers on this channel. Hit that follow button. Hit that follow button, please. Can anyone? Hit that follow button. And also, make sure you guys follow Caboose because we're going to be having week six going down on his channel this Wednesday. Can any... Yo, can anyone stop him? I want to know right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Game four underway. This certainly is capable. Can anyone stop him? Game five. But yeah, just as Destroyer said, sign up, get ready. Week six coming up Wednesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Over Six. on my channel, twitch.tv slash caboose. 6 p.m. She wouldn't pipe all standard time. Exactly, yeah. It's a new time zone. They just invented it. Huge combo there from Kerbalicious right now. Working on a flawless round. My goodness, Destroyer. This oh, is unbelievable. Shit. I literally hit exclamation point sign up in the chat, and it was over for his life bar. What the hell just happened? A punish on the air projectile. Just a near flawless. Their match point now for Kerbalicious. Match point now for Shibin and Pipo. Ooh, trying Once to walk again. him down. Looking pretty menacing here. Tries to hit him with a jump in too. Wait a second. Good blocks on the low shadow. He's going to get the grab. Once again in a position to make his way into grand finals on the winner's side for the second week in a row. That is consistency, Caboose. Holy shit. My God. Short hop into the air dash. This guy is ridiculous. I don't know how Turbo does it, but he does it. Good down one. These guys are kind of going in a little back and forth state here. Catching him with the overhead. Abyss can definitely make this comeback, but he needs to work on it now. Foxy Grandpa with the raid. Holy cow. Foxy Grandpa, thank you so much, dude. Hey, yo, Foxy. 
Thank you so much, bro. Everybody go sub to his only stomps, oh, please. Oh, and that's it. That is going to be the game. Kerbalicious is going into the grand finals for the second week in a row on the winner's side. Can he complete the run this time? Let's see what happens as we continue with Champions of the Realms 2. Week 5, Destroyer. It's been so insanely high for the one. Yeah, this is nuts. Look at that. We're witnessing new Saibai get dragged on the ground. And then the slow motion split in half. Wow. Look at his hands, bro. They look like fish fins. <laughs> See that shit? I do. What a game. What a set from Kerbalicious. He is scary. This is definitely going to be... He, he feels like a final boss in the NRSC right now with this with this cabal. Are you scared of him? Yeah. You should be. You know why? Why? Because you're on scare tactics. Oh, really? Yeah. You're telling me Champions of the Realms this whole time has actually just been scare tactics. Scare tactics. Yes. No way. No, no way. I, let, no, let me not say that before no we way. fucking... The, the, scare, the team from scare tactics are going to come through. They're going to say, all right. <laughs> the joke's <laughs> over. And I'm going to be like, no way. No, no way. way. Hey, but we're going to be moving into this next match here. Uh, we got... There's a loser semifinals. The winner of this is going to advance into the loser's final where, they, where they're going to be facing off against Abyss. This should be good, bro. Um, yeah. This, like, whole top four bracket, I was not expecting this. You know, we got Sully. We got Izzy. Glizzy. We got all of them. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, what ends up going down. Whoever makes it into that uh, grand final spot, whether it's Sounds a like we've got more players than there actually are. What, what happened? How many how many people we got? A lot. We got we got Kerbo. We got Kerbo. We got Abyss. We got Sully. We got Izzy. And then, and then who? And we got Glizzy. And we got oh. Tizzy. Oh, okay. <laughs> we got Blizzy. You don't see... Oh shit, I'm looking at the Pootie Tang bracket, my bad. Jesus. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Well, let's get this match popping. And shout outs to uh these teams. I know sometimes during pool play, I sometimes forget to represent your teams, and I'm really sorry about that. But like usually it's supposed to just show me, like on, on the Smash.g, it's just so, it's supposed to show me your name. And then the clan tag right next to it. But if you don't put the clan tag next to your name, then it's going to get missed out. So make sure if you sign up for these tournaments on Smash.gg and you want to represent a team, if you want to represent Team Glizzy or Team whatever it may be, then make sure you uh, include your, your clan tag or your team tag or whatever the fuck. This set, I think, is going to be pretty freaking hype. Wait, what? Izzy would score. Is Izzy just running the whole roster for today? It's starting. Izzy's actually just rocking the whole roster today. Really? It should be interesting here. I mean, I respect it. You know, rocking the whole roster. Hey, you got to do what you got to do to win. This guy's probably just going with the matchups that are favorable for him. Not like in general favorable for the match, but just favorable for, you know, his preference. Dunn finds the opening, activates the Burning Spear, looking for that low, nice, flawless block there from Sully. Oh, but another hit lands once again for Izzy, 32% on that combo, in thanks to the damage buff. And look, this is a weird character pick for sure from Izzy, but I gotta say, like these, working. yeah, it definitely is working. But these two players might play often, like who knows what the case may be. Izzy's probably making a character pick mm. to like, you know, throw him off. Yeah, you're right, actually, especially considering that both of these guys are on the same team. Or are they on the same team? No. No, 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 no. I got that wrong. Good down, too. Just staring him down here. Gonna go with the Jack in the Box. Oh, that's a punish! That's a punish and a half, absolutely. Big hits coming in from Sully. 
He's gonna get that second down too. The back two right into the teleport. Is he having that corner now? Good throw on the tech. Oh, the empty teleport. That's very good stuff right there. Keeping it safe. He's gonna go with the forward three four, knocking him to the other side. Oh, trying to catch him with the shooting and pipe. But what is going on right now, Caboose? Oh, oh, and I believe that's going to be the game. Combo into Fatal Blow. Izzy takes game one, and he's going to go, Get over here! Get over here, bitch, 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 bitch. That's one thing I'm very interested in hearing from the Mortal Kombat movie with Scorpion. They better, they better have just gotten Ed Boon to do it. You know what I mean? I wanted to be brutal, bro. I wanted to be brutal. Hold on. Let me, yo, Spanky Doodle. Spanky Doodle. You think you can find that, that, uh, that clip? Of what? Do you ever heard the Scorpion get over here, bitch? From Shaolin Monks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want him to say that in the movie. That would be pretty sick, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Listen. Listen to it. Listen to it. <laughs> listen, listen. I heard it. I heard it. Listen to it. Listen, listen, listen. Get over here, bitch. What do you guys think? You want that for the movie? I call it boom right now and I ask him. I call no, him right call now. Me. Let me call him. Yeah, 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 Ed. Ed. Yeah, how's it going? No, don't hang up. He keeps fucking hanging up on me, man. <laughs> Damn, he didn't even give you a chance. Like, I didn't even get to say anything. Savage. Oh, shit, bro. This is the perfect scenario right now. We got Izzy, Glizzy versus Sully, and we got the, the Shadow Priest. Yeah. We got the Shadow Priest in the background, yo. They say, oh, slow down, slow down. You gonna mess up the arcade, yo, 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 yo. Wait, 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 wait. He's tech on the phone. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. going to be the round, going for the down two. Yes, indeed, good stuff there from Sully. Round two, fight. Nice back three. Ooh, try to go for the throw. What a punish. There's a lot of range on that forward one. A lot of pipo. Beautiful. Great conversion there from Izzy. 30%. Oh, the, the Scorpion classic. 4-3 into 1-1. One, one. Extra damage on the throw thanks to the burning spear. Back two cancels the teleport. Ooh, he goes with the forward three twice. What a nice juicy stagger to throw counter out of nowhere. What is it gonna be? Goes for the back one, four into the empty teleport. Nice overhead. Nice grab tech. Nice interruption there on the four, two string and another back three gonna connect. And he's oh. going to get the hit with that jump in and then a teleport. Izzy really showing off this scorpion right now. It's been a minute since we've seen a scorpion, I feel. Get the fuck over here, bitch! Okay. Get the fuck over here! That's a 1-1. One, one. Nice flawless blocking there from Sully. Monsters Inc. Sully? Uh, yeah. You talking about Monsters Inc. Sully? He's in the no, game I'm right now. About Uncharted. Oh. You never heard of that guy? I know, the old guy. You never you never heard of him, right? Uh, the old guy from Uncharted. I know. Oh my god, the crushing Big blow. Crush. Popping both his titties. Oh my god, he goes for the grab, but the tech out of nowhere. Four. This is too scary. Oh, Sully's no. in trouble. Oh, oh yeah. No, he doesn't wow. connect the trouble off the canceled fatal blow, and Izzy will take game two. Damn, he had that in the bag. Very unfortunate stuff right there. 
I mean, I don't know if he had it in the bag, but certainly that would have helped him come back quite a bit if he was able to get something going. Oh, Who knows bro. if he lands a four throw off of that. Joker, then he get a crushing blow. Joker's comeback potential with that fatal blow. If he would have hit that combo, would have put him in such a savage position. He would have had the, the ball sack crushing blow locked and loaded. There could have been multiple scenarios he could have ran that could have made that comeback that much easier. But you're right. It, was, it, was, it wasn't in the bag. It wasn't in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, then you, you lied. You lied to the whole stream. Lost heart, the he said, guys, I think Destroyer's officially lost it. Oh my god. What the f <laughs> What is happening? Chat, yo, guys, I need your help. Chat was. What happened? What happened? Ah! Ah! Shit, what's that? Was, what's happening? What's happening? That wasn't you? What the fuck's going on? That wasn't you. You tell me what's going on, bro. I literally went to go take a piss and I told you to hold it down. What? You just laughed. You just did an evil laugh. You're on him. Hold on, wait. Oh, no. You guys told me this one didn't break out. Wait. Wait. Bro. We gotta, wait, wait, wait. we gotta emerge. We gotta end the stream. Wait, wait, wait. No, we gotta end the stream like right now. You said you got a clone? No, yeah, something really bad's going on in the in the in the studio here. What? What do you? How many clones you got, bro? You, you tell me. I need to. I need to tighten the security. Oh my god! Oh no 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 no! Wait 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 wait! Great combo there from Izzy. <laughs> oh, nice interruption with the forward three. And the throw gonna connect as well. Oh my god, he oh, catches beautiful. the conversion to Kapow! Look at it's another moment for Sully. He's down to the yeah. wire here! And the overhead oh. gonna connect, man. What the fuck? And look at that outro from uh I can't even think of his name. The one of the most iconic characters, I forgot his name. Oh, uh, Jimmy, J John, uh, Steve, his name is Steve, Scorpion, Steve gets hit with the combo, oh yeah, Scorpion, I forgot, imagine, big combo once again from Sully, looking to send this to a game four, can Izzy make the comeback though, is he gonna close this out, Destroyer, teleports, gets the down one, went for the throw, but it gets tacked, oh, nice interruption, that should be the game, no defensive meter for Izzy to survive, and it will indeed be, we're going to a game four, it's not over just yet. Very good stuff from Sully, man. Staying alive here. He's going to bow down to the chat. He said, I hope you guys are enjoying this awesome gameplay. And oh my God, shout out to everyone watching this crazy action. I truly appreciate you all. Yeah, every single one of you guys, over 1,500 viewers live. Thank you so much to everybody tuning in. Shout outs once again earlier to Foxy Grandpa. I don't know if he's still here for raiding the stream yes With everybody who's been gifting subs who's been donating to all, all all that stuff supporting the stream in the some way joke. you guys are incredible hooking it up for my boy destroyer Scorpion. thank you all Retro oh yeah oh yeah Fuck it. oh yeah and look and look guys like i i can't you know i'm not even gonna say anything i'm not gonna say anything let me shut up let me shut up whatever nothing nothing whatever no spoilers no spoilers Oh no spoilers, okay. no spoilers. Okay. No spoilers. Round one. Fight. Oh my god, what a crazy that dude, that was like a that was like some Averick type shit right there. That was a really nice confirm coming oh, out of man. Izzy. Now I'm yeah, I remember Averick stuck in Scorpion. Holy Wow! Almost caught a really good anti here there, but hold on, Sully gonna turn the tides of battle here. Catching him with the kapow. Right to the culo. Score one. It's going He's right in his face box. here. The one, two, three. He's going to catch a good grab. It's going to be the ball buster's delight. Oh, my. Oh, somebody said apparently Averick signed up for next week. Ooh. Oh, that should be interesting. Oh, speaking of, we're almost at $2,000 for the Matcherino for the competitors. Remember, all yes, this money. Sir goes to the competitors so if you want to uh contribute to the prize pool 
Exclamation point, Macharino, please. Speaking of, we're at $2,100 for the finale. Oh, let's go. Auto <laughs> Teta. Thank you, every single one of you guys Thank for you. all the donations to the match arena. Over a thousand dollars donated to the match arena. You guys are incredible. Much appreciated, guys. If you want to add to that to that prize pool, exclamation point match arena in the chat. Oh my god. He catches a nasty teleport. Izzy right now, aka Glizzy, just nice. going ham. Goes with the forward three, four. Sick setup. Mm-hmm. Raw spear. I'm not entirely sure what was going on there. That might have been an accident. I don't know. A big combo, 41% one bar. 41% one bar. That is the, the sweet spot for Champions of the Realms. If you hit 41% one bar, you get a million leche bottles. Yeah, escape fill on the throw. Is he wasn't able to correct, or wasn't able to guess correctly there. Oh my god. Whoa, what nice a short, short hop. hop. Catch oh him with god. the forward three, four again. Getting down no to way. the wire here in oh. overhead. No way. Beautiful. Sully just needs one touch, Caboose. One opening could close this out. Holy cow. Nice block on the gunshot. Holy shibudens. Shibudin pipe! Oh, wow! Oh, oh, careful. That was so risky. Good check on the throw. Get the jump in. Why is, the teleport. why is this so sweaty? The throw. The throw. Why is this so Match sweaty? Match point for Izzy. Match point for Izzy. Why is this kid so sweaty? Holy shit, Destroyer. What an intense round. Dude. Teleport. Oh. Sully gonna get some good hits in. Fully converts. Zuka Pals, 35%. One bar. Oh, trying to dash in. Down like two. Not, not Another, Another down two. Down two. Oh my god, the oh, jack in the box gonna set him in the corner. Sully having an incredible round. This is gonna be tough for Easy to come back from. What's he gonna do? Gonna get caught by the throw. This is very scary now for Izzy. Very shooting yeah, Piper. That's the throw. Oh, oh that's crush. I had no idea. That, that could be huge. That could be huge. Oh, he gets a jump oh. in. This, this is, is huge. Bad. This oh is bad. Oh, my God. Into a fatal blow. So much damage on the table here, Caboose. What the fuck is happening? This oh, is unlike damage oh, you usually would see oh, from Scorpion. Oh, Close to 50%. Percent, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Izzy went for the throw and Sully with the neutral jump. We're going to a game five. Glizzy? Glizzy. Look at that. He's going to get right into the screen. He said, my nose is shaped like a wee wee. Is that, he said that? My version, he oh, said that. Did I take my headphones off too early? Oh, shit. Hold on. I got to change the version. Hey, yo, yo. Yo, give me the right version, please. Give me the right version of the game, please. What version am I playing? Oh shit, they said I'm playing the the Pee Wee Herman Deluxe Edition. The Joker. The Pee Wee Herman Deluxe Edition. Supreme. <laughs> what? Oh, destroyer! What? What happened? Is he, is he just got a? He got every character on the roster. What happened? He go, he's going to spawn. No, wait! Didn't we see him pull out a spawn earlier? Did we? I think we did. So hold on. So from Izzy, we've seen Rain. We've seen Sub Zero. We've seen Shang Tsung. We've seen Spawn. We've seen Scorpion. Who else? This man's got the whole roster. This might be like a, another Titanium Tigers type of player, you know? He might be. Oh, what a combo there. He, he, Good stuff there we, we, we got another Chameleon of the NRS here. Ooh, the standing 3-4 stopping him right in his tracks. This is a final game too, man. Winner of this is going to advance to the loser's final where they're going to face off against uh, Abyss. Against Abyss. Kerbalicious waiting in that grand final spot on the winner's side. And as well, I mean, the winner of this heads into the money. Oh, gonna commit to the fatal blow after the forward 2 1 connected. I mean, is this it, the round? I don't think it's the round, but anything oh, at this it point. Might be. It, it is. I think it is. Wait. It is. What? It is. Match point for Sully. Can he complete the reverse 3 0? 
fight. What the hell did we just witness? I don't know. Sully's playing out of his mind. Breakaway off the charging L spawn. Trying to go for the cross up. Land some hits. Will connect. The Kapow gets the. Oh, doesn't get the two downs. I thought he was going to land him. Oh, oh big. my god. Big shooting in Pipo right there. The breakaway. Nice punish there from Izzy. Trying to set up. Oh, oh, that was a bait and He's a dead. half. If I've ever seen He's one. Dead. What a bait. This is going to be the round 100%. I mean, we're going to a final game here, guys. Final game, final round for both that these players. Like. A near 50%. I'm going to call that shit 50%. To take that, that, that round. Like. That was Did insane. You see that? He neutral jumps. Like he, he, he does an empty jump. Baits out the down two off the expected throw from Sully and then punishes with the grab to get the crushing blow. Izzy's on another level. Gets the throw to land. It is final game, final round right now, Destroyer. You are correct about that. Oh! Thank God that wasn't a crushing blow on, on uh, Izzy's part. He would have been in serious problem. Very Ooh, nice. Catches the a low. He's doing this for one, the people. Another oh. throw. Man, this is bad news right now for Sully, especially with no fatal blow. He doesn't have that easy catch-up tool. He needs to make something happen. Now or never gets caught by the 1-1. One, one, oh, back two, and that'll it. be it. And that'll be it. Izzy shuts down the reverse 3-0 attempt, and we'll be moving on to the loser's final to face off against Abyss. And look at that. He said, Maboja, I need one. Damn, what a match right there, dude. Um, did we have a lot of uh, a lot of game fives tonight? Uh, a couple. Actually, just one other one besides that. And that was between Sully and Honeybee. That was a hype set. Between Sully and Honeybee. But now, okay, here we go. Losers final. We got oh, Izzy shit. facing off against Abyss. And once again, in the grand finals, Kerbalicious awaits on the winner's side. Like, Jackie looks like a character that that still takes a little bit of finesse. And, and it is sick when you see some people, like, dropping some ridiculous combos with the character. But the unblockable damage or the unbreakable damage is ridiculous, man. It's too much. When you have Fatal Blow to be dropping, like, what, 50% plus without your opponent's feet leaving the ground? That's too much, man. That's too much. But okay, we're here, we made it. Finally, losers finals about to go down and Izzy is playing against, Ro or playing Robocop against Abyss who's still rocking that noob Cybot. This, the winner of this, will be heading into the grand finals to face off against Kerbalicious. Ooh, this is gonna be a good one, man. I'm nervous, Kerbalicious better have his shit together. I'm not trying to be biased here, but you see a player make it into that grand finals twice in a row. Yo, he loses it this time, dude. I'm gonna be at a loss for words. And again, I'm not trying to take away from any of these other players, but let me just shut up. I do sound biased. I'm sorry, chat. Oh, uh, you sound so biased. Man. I hope Abyss wins. I hope Abyss reverses uh, Kerbalicious and wins. Goes for the down poke. Abyss's uh, variation name makes Kelly a mid. <laughs> This is crazy though. Once again, now Izzy pulling out another character. Honestly, if he wins this, like, what a dangerous competitor he could be going into the finale. He could play as any character, have any counter pick ready to go against whatever matchup he's heading into, and he'll take that round. Nicely done with Robocop. You're under arrest, dirt bag. He said, "Freeze, bitch. Get the fuck over here, bitch." Oh, a lot of down fours right now. Abyss really trying to keep him in check. Wow, punishing the getup, bro. Super smart stuff. Falls right into the gunshots. Yo, <laughs> this is funny. We were talking about characters that need nerfs and buffs. I think yeah. Robocop, yeah. he needs some help. <laughs> First of all, here's what he needs. Here's what he needs. Forward 212 crush should pop up. What, like, what is that about? You know, give him some combo potential, man. Just anything, literally anything. 
Maybe nice maybe level. Netherrealm was afraid of like, you know, giving him too much zoning potential and then that combo potential on top of that. They didn't want to uh, make him too much, but they ended up making him too little. And, and his down two is busted. <laughs> like, <laughs> his think down two is just busted. I don't know. It's, it's so weird. Like busted is in a in a good or not bad like, thing? Not like it's broken, but like it just it feels like it doesn't work after time. <laughs> good throw. Abyss right now with the corner. Oh, is he? Side switching. Uh, dude, what are we watching right now? Oh! oh! Command grab off the wake up roll and that's crushing blow. Izzy's showing off the tech with Robocop. You're under arrest, dirtbag. Dude, arrest, caught him dirtbag. with the command grab and exploded his chest, dented that shit in and took the game. Unbelievable. The Robocop making an appearance in week five top eight. What is going on right now, Caboose? I don't know, but Izzy is seriously a, a chameleon in this tournament. He's played in this tournament today. He's played as Shang Tsung. Who else he played as? Spawn, we've seen. Robocop, Scorpion. Like, in just today alone. And he's making it. He's in Losers Finals right now, up 1-0 against the Bits. This is, this is nuts. Special Forces Desert Command. Yeah, dude, the amount of Murphy oil we are about to witness on the screen here <laughs> is going to be at an all-time high. An all-time high indeed. Let's get this popping. Let's see if Izzy's going to be able to keep up this momentum. Great start from Abyss getting the load slide, the low slide on the demon. Someone said that's not Murphy oil. <laughs> This chat is unbelievable. Glizzy. <laughs> what? We need to we need to shut down. We need to purge the chat. Say glizzy we oil. To, we need to purge the chat. Holy shit. Good command grab. A lot of pressure coming out of it. Yo, this fucking Robocop is insane! Wow. He's burning the shit out of Somebody him right now! Stop, somebody stop Izzy right now. Somebody stop him right now. The right to remain silent. Against a noob Saibot. This is a matchup I think would go in noob Saibot's favor, but holy cow. Is, is he making this work for him? Now listen, I'm not trying to jinx nothing to create any commentator's curse whatsoever, but there is a real world possibility that Izzy's about to make it in the loser's final, or grand final, sorry, with Robocop. Oh, oh, nice up to wake up. Beautiful stuff. The question is, which character, bro, out of all the characters we've seen him use? Now, I'm not saying Abyss is getting out of this just yet, but if he does, yeah. if Izzy does make it into Grand Finals, who is he end up going to use? He's got so many yeah. fucking characters. What does he do against Herbalicious? Nice short hop. Abyss having a really good round, though. We don't want to speak too soon. Not trying to commentate or curse it, because Abyss is still such a solid competitor, and he knows what he's doing. There's a reason he's the one competing, and I'm the one commentating. Oh, no, he's going to get shot up here. Abyss slowly working his way against Zobocop. Zobocop, I like that. Ooh, nice sweep. He's really playing to the strengths of Robocop here. I love the decision making and the way that Izzy approaches each and every matchup with the characters that he's picked. I know, they're so diverse in play style, and just for the fact that Izzy's playing so clean with them. This goes to show how much talent this kid's got in, in Mortal Kombat 11. Seriously, this is going to be a name I feel like for the future of NRS titles you're going to be hearing a lot of. 100% the teleport from Abyss trying to close the gap here. Beautiful nice. low shadow. Oh! Oh. Oh, and that's the game. That is the game. The wake up 1-1-3. I believe that was a punish of some kind into the fatal blow. We're tied up. We're tied up. We were speaking a little too soon. Didn't want to get too ahead of us. Too ahead of ourselves. That being said, though... I don't see Izzy immediately switching off. No, I mean, that went down to the last read, honestly. Izzy just made one minor mistake at the end there. I think he just a little bit of an overcommitment. Yeah, just a little bit of an overcommitment got him punished into the fatal blow. A little bit of a shipping and pipo, yeah. A little bit of a shipping and pipo, pipo, shipping and shipping and pipo. Just a little bit of a shipping and pipo, it seems like. Looks like he got hit with just a little bit of a shipping and pipe. Unfortunately, it was just a little bit of a shipping and pipe. Shipping and pipe. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Anyways. 
Noob Cybot. Does Izzy? Wait. He's not thinking about it. Is he destroyer? What? Sub Zero? Is he thinking about it? That's a classic matchup right there, man. If he goes with the Sub Zero, this dude is making a legacy matchup here. No way. Izzy plays the whole roster, bro. Kano? Noise Pit Attacker. Noise. Noise. Oh. Jade? Jade. What the fuck is going on? Hey, yo, Spanky have a Doodle! List of all the characters he's played today? We need a list. Yo, Spanky Doodle, run that shit back, please! Thank you. I've never seen someone so successfully run the gambit of the roster for Mortal Kombat 11 in a tournament the way that Izzy has today. Now Sorry. switching over to Jade. Let's see what he's gonna do here. Oh, beautiful stuff using the teleport, amplifying it as well to essentially act kind of as an anti-air. I don't know. But a nice punish, nevertheless. Acting kind of like a, a shooting yeah. pipe, if I say so myself. Uh, you know, I think you're not too wrong about that, if I'm being honest. Tried to hit him with a 1-1 one, one on that get-up roll, but did not catch it. Ooh, good stagger. Throw. Damn, dude, I don't know, man. Glizzy making this character switch to Jade oh. doesn't seem to be too fitting for him. Very unfortunate. He tried to get that down to crush or just any sort of punish in general off of Abyss going for the teleport, but he was... I don't know what happened. It messed up, unfortunately. Still has a chance, though, especially with that Fatal Blow to make some sort of comeback here. Gotta be really careful. Watch out for that teleport. He does still have a chance. You are not lying about that. He's gonna activate the purple stuff. The oh purple my shit. god! Oh. What a read! Wow. Coming out of Abyss! Gonna wow. 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 Ooh. Ooh. On the one, two. Good block there on the overhead there from Izzy. Gets punished off the air projectile. The short hop. Looking good for Izzy right now. He's gotta get something going. Oh my oh, god, they're down on the pole frame attack. And a half. Frame gap and a half. Yo, I don't know, man, but Abyss, the, the turnaround that's going on. Okay, never mind. Frame crush. He gets a combo out of that, too. Oh! oh 43%. Wait, he gets the read on the purple stuff. What a win punish. Abyss right now. One shadow flown away from closing this out and going up two to one on Glizzy. The Izzy. Yeah, Izzy. He's getting real aggressive. Izzy's getting real aggressive here. Yeah. Oh my god, fatal blow. Into the fatal. Into the, it's not going to be enough, though. That is not going to be enough. It's going to be hella close, though, Destroyer. What, what Izzy's got to be really careful with doing, too, is that uh, Amplified Air Projectile. Abyss has been very consistent landing his teleport. Ooh. Yeah, there it was again. Izzy baited it out. Jelly is dance. Oh, the throw. Oh. I don't know if you wanted the down to crush there. That is unfortunate. Unfortunately, Bro. a little bit of a waste, but regardless, a final round now. Bro, that was such a fucking godlike comeback from Izzy. Oh, my God. That was probably the hypest comeback I've ever seen from a Jade. I just got to say that. I got to go ahead and say that. That was incredible. That wiggle stick. I, I mean, just the bait off the, uh, the teleport was great. Izzy is oh. just uh, such a super star. He woke up three from a distance. Bro, he woke up three from a distance, and the low shadow just went right through him because of the invincibility frames. Oh, my God. He's getting way too close. Abyss has a huge life lead here. Izzy's in trouble. Up. Nice throw. Without Fatal Blow, the comeback's gonna be a little more difficult, but still very possible for Izzy here. Blocks the back three in the amplified slide. He's gotta play this as carefully as he possibly can. Make every right decision. Oh, nice. Way to not break away. Not gonna get that amplified projectile. Watch out for the 2 1 2. And Izzy. I gotta. Okay, good turn. grab, good grab. I gotta tell you now, man, if he loses this match with this uh, Jade, I feel like we're gonna see another character switch. Because this, this didn't work out yeah. too well. I mean, I can't talk just yet. He still has a chance to make this work. Oh, man. Abyss has been so good at that. Oh, my God. Dude, he's still alive here. Seconds. Gonna be about 10 seconds. He needs a hit. Oh, he got that 4 2. Oh! Looking for the jump in. Oh, oh wait. Wait. Oh, he went for the throw. Why not the neutral for the, the Abyss was ready. Bro. 
Abyss was ready, and that's going to send him up 2-1 in the set. I definitely agree with you that Izzy is most likely going to be switching characters once well, again. Who does he go to next? Maybe not, because that did get close as hell towards the end there. So maybe he did start to feel a little bit more comfortable towards the, the later bits of that match. But, bro, I honestly feel like just from evaluating that last that last part that just happened, instead of going for that reset into the throw, he should have went into more guaranteed pressure into the Lila. He, he should have went for the meter burn and, and had him in such... Oh, my God, that could have been I, so I crucial. I that's true. Because especially after landing the hits that he did there, even on chip, he might have been close enough to pretty much take the game with the additional life that he would have gotten hitting those hits or just getting Delia's dance or whatever. Oh, going back to Jackie. Is he's thinking about it. He's thinking. He's got to he's got to take a moment here. Got to take a beat. Which is exactly what he's doing. And okay, he's gonna go with Jackie Briggs. This is it. The character you're now locked into for the rest of the set. You gotta win the next two games and be moving on to the grand finals. Otherwise, Abyss will be facing off and running it back actually against Kerbalicious. But let's see what happens. Destroyer game four underway. Shibudin! Hi, Bo! Fight. What was that? Try to hit him with the plasma ball. Tries to go for the teleport. Nothing's there, though. Oh, what a trade. Was very fortunate for Abyss catching that trade there. Going to get on top of the damage here. Has a really big life lead right now. And that's the thing about uh, Noob Saibot, man. He touches you two or three times, and your life bar is gone. And it's very, like, gradual hits. Five hits, 20%. He does it so, so methodical. It's so sweet. Such a solid competitor, man. Damn! Abyss right now. One round away from getting into the grand finals where he's going to be facing off against Kerbalicious. Wow! Okay. Very nice. One percent there. Don't want to count out Izzy just yet, especially when he's playing Jackie Briggs. He's been kind of uh, oh, not necessarily fooling ball. around, but he's been trying some other characters. Gets the dash punch, crush, crushing blow. Do you think this is like his best one he's got? The uh, Jackie. It might be. It might be. I mean, you got to consider as well the fact that the character is just one of the best in the game. So you put him in the talent bands of Izzy, and automatically it becomes one of the best characters in his arsenal, and he's going to tie up the rounds. Final round. Fight. Try to jump out of there. Very good stuff. Three into the amp slide. Nice counter now from Izzy. See, this is the stuff that needs to be relaxed on. You know, like just the, the amount of damage you can get before your opponent even leaves the ground is ridiculous. Ho hopefully, let's see what NRS is going to do. I do hope you're right in that a balance patch is on its way soon. Ooh, knocking nice. him out of the air. Beautiful stuff. Good throw. Abyss shots outside of that fatal blow. Okay, has it now. Oh, Great interruption. Is he going to combo into fatal? He's going to go for the optimal He's into doing fatal. It. He's doing Beautiful it. Beautiful stuff. This is going to be upwards of 50% for Noob Cybot. The damage destroyer. The damage. Ah, damn. 53. 53. He cannot afford anything! Oh, anti -air. Okay, now he can't afford anything for real this time. What an anti-air! The jump in, Izzy! The cojones! Wow. But the neutral duck! Abyss! What a god! And he's gonna blow up Jackie Briggs! Bro, Abyss is ridiculous! Abyss gets the run back uh -oh. attempt now! Abyss is insane! Abyss. Like, how the hell is this guy ready for all these neutral ducks? How is he ready to just... To just do all this shit, man? Abyss, chill! Wow. We're going into our grand finals match right now. You already know. I want to see this chat exploding. Oh, shit. Cam, Caboose. My bad. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I, I got forgot. You. <laughs> I want to no, see. I forgot. I forgot. I want to see this chat exploding right now. We got the grand finals underway. Kerbalicious going up against Abyss. 
I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this match started before this fucking stream crashes again. And we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get this match going, man. Kerbalicious in the winner side of the grand finals. Going up against Abyss, and listen, Caboose called it, man. Abyss has been playing out of his mind all day today. So I think he's feeling hot, bro. I think he can do yeah. this. I definitely think he can do this. Kerbalicious, I mean, not it hasn't even just been this week. The last two weeks he has been playing out of his mind good with Cabal. And two weeks in a row on the winner's side, he's in grand finals. That's so this consistent. Time now we're facing off against Abyss. And this is a run back. This is a run back. We saw Abyss and Kerbalicious face off in the winner's finals. And Kerbal did win that set three to one. So clearly he's shown he's capable of taking down Abyss. But let's hope that Abyss is ready and has prepared himself, especially through uh, what he just went through in the loser's finals. And again, he's ready for Kerbo. Again, everybody get fucking hype. I want to see this chat exploding here. here. Grand finals for week number five. We're going to get our fifth champion entering the Champions of the Realms finale. So far, we got Mighty Unjust in uh, for the Ooh. first week. We got Tweety for the second week, Pulse for the third week, Bio for the fourth week. And today, we will be getting one more competitor. And it's between these two players right here. Are you Abyss ready, in Caboose? The chat says, I'm ready Boots. for Kerbo. So here we go. He's confident. He's feeling good. Remember, as per the turn tournament format, every tournament format pretty much for fighting games, since Abyss is coming from the loser side, he's got to win two first to threes. One to reset the bracket, and then another one to finally be crowned the champion of week five for Champions That's of the Round right. 2 and qualify for that finale. Here we go. Grand finals about to begin. Oh my God, look at the predictions here, man. The channel points are oh, insanity. Ooh. I see a lot going wow. towards Caboose. I, I mean, uh, Kerbalicious. Me? <laughs> They're voting for me? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, what are these names? Yo, it's, oh my it, God, look how many people, look at the amount of channel points that are being put on the line here, Destroyer. That's upwards of almost 400,000 channel points. Yo, come on. on the line, guys, you guys are going get it, nuts. Get it to a million, get it to a million channel points. Everybody predict, everybody predict right now. Yeah. Get it Yo. You yeah! guys are insane. Okay, the amount of people predicting if 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 Abyss is gonna win this, th there's gonna be a lot of channel points. One man, Jesus Christ! Here we go. Game one about to be underway. Do we see Kerbalicious finally get his spot in the the finale, or will history repeat itself and Abyss maybe resets this bracket and becomes our fifth qualifier? Here we go. This is really good, man. Abyss coming from the loser side. He has to work extra hard if he wants to win this and get into that, that finale spot. Ooh, already getting a clean punish here. And that's one thing you gotta be on your toes, you know? Sometimes Kerbalicious likes to go for that raw Nomad Dash out of nowhere. And if you're not ready for that caboose, oh my God, your Toto's gonna be bleeding. That's right, and as we're saying all that, Kerbalicious landing a healthy combo. Wait, what is that? 42% one bar? Oh man, we have upgraded to 42% one bar. This is way too much pressure right now. Abyss needs to do something. One, two, lands the overhead. The only danger here is that the Fatal Blow is ready for Kerbalicious, and all he needs is a couple of hits into it for the 1-1. One, one. Oh my goodness, the dash-ins. When oh your turn? God. What a forward block! Jesus oh Christ! God. Oh my God! Oh, oh my God! God. Kerbalicious! Kerbalicious came to play! I mean, hey, the last thing he wants is to get into the loser side with Abyss. He needs to close this out now, or he's gonna be in a tough, in a tough situation. Oh a sticky God. situation. Oh, oh my, my God! God. Trying to chase down the rollout. He's gonna catch the punish, not committing to the crushing blow. This is juicy damage regardless. Oh my 36% motherfucker. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting too carried away. This says hype. I can't believe the flawless puck up two into the fatal blow. Kerbalicious is hungry for the win right now. This needs something. He needs to find it fast. Good hits in from Kerbo. No defensive meter. So Abyss is just going to have to eat this damage. 34%. The 2-1. Tries to jump in. Oh, wanted to go for the instant air. But it looks like that's game no! one. No! He dropped it. Oh, a risky, risky teleport attempt there from Abyss. And game one is going to go to Kerbalicious. Listen, I was going to say, man, for Abyss to... I mean, for Kerbo to drop that moment and give him that slight breathing room... Oh my God, if Abyss would have capitalized, I would have went on the floor and started squirming like a worm. 
<laughs> While screaming. Oh my god! Oh my god! Kerbalicious up one game. Noob Cybot. Cabal. Two more, and he is our fifth qualifier for Champions of the Realms 2. Unless Abyss can find something in him now to start creating a bit of momentum. Because if Kerbalicious goes up 2-0, then a lot of pressure is applied on Abyss to try and attempt a reverse 3-0 for the bracket reset. That won't even be the match. That won't even be the tournament. That'll just be the bracket reset. Then he's got to do all that work again to win another three games. Let's see what happens as we head into game two. Nice oh flawless. my lord, dude. I'm telling you, like, Abyss is playing so clean, but once, it looks like once Kerbo gets on the offense, that's when things start getting a little, a little tricky for Abyss. Because, yes, uh, Noob Saibot does have a lot of great normals. Like, he can keep you off of him, and he, he can contest up close. He has fast, fast frame, what is it, nine, nine frame mid? Uh, I believe so, yeah. So he can definitely compete up close. Let's see what's going on here. He has a huge life lead right now. Abyss just playing it kind of patient here. Letting that timer run down, but hold on. Kerbalish is going to open him up here. How much damage are we looking at? Jesus. Oh, man. That is just such tricky stuff. Nice amplification of the interactable. Not going to close out the round, though. That's something that Abyss has been very good at. Always having that map awareness. Always being or ha having an understanding of the interactables around him and utilizing an interactable Wait. like that oh my God. is essentially a command grab. This throw is gonna One be huge. Touch. One more touch, another throw connects uh, Abyss, the Abyss is getting a little too patient. He needs to, he needs to open up. Oh, what a block! Ooh. What a fucking block, Abyss. Staying alive, Abyss taking the round in game number two here. Did he flawless block that too? Was that just a straight up reaction? Just ready for that uh, Nomad dash to come in? That was a straight up, oh my God! Oh my God! Good counter hit. The back and forth between these two players. Both of them just throwing one ones oh at each other. God, Mike. That was sick. A lot of damage there. Ooh, bro. What? Now a bit in control here. Do not give Herbalicious the opportunity to come back, though. Whoa! He's going to get the teleport. That's the game. We got ourselves a set, ladies and gentlemen. We got ourselves a set. This is scary, man. I mean, it's only one game Herbalicious is taking. I mean, Abyss is taking here. But Kerbalicious needs to be weary of that because, bro, we saw what happened last week. And I don't want to say a motherfucker would get tilted off of some shit like that, but you'd get tilted off of that, you know? I'd be thinking about that loss for fucking ages. Trust me, I lost in a in a grand finals winner position one time. And the amount the, the levels of salt were extreme. Yeah, I never lost the grand finals. But that's because I never competed. <laughs> that's funny. You know what? You a funny guy, you know that? Yeah, you know what? You alright. You know, you're a funny guy, you know that? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, you know? you're real funny. Yeah. Hey, yo, hey, yo, Paulie. Yeah. Paulie, get, get a load of this guy. This funny dude. Yeah. Don't, don't talk, this don't guy talk. over here is really, funny. I don't really like Paulie. Hey, Paulie, how's it going? Hey, yo, yeah. Snooky, get a load of this guy. What the? What the? F <laughs> you got the whole cast of the Jersey Shore in your house now? Yeah. Round one. Fart. This is, uh... Jersey Shore of the Realms. Oh, very nice. <laughs> He's gonna break away. We're gonna run a top eight with the cast of the Jersey Shore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we get we do all these eight weeks and then the top eight is just the cast of the Jersey Shore. Everybody's like, what happened to the finalists? Nicely <laughs> done. Herbalicious. Huge life lead to start off this next game, but a nice instant air into the teleport. No meter, otherwise you probably would have seen a little more damage off that escape fail off that throw. That loads a crushing blow throw on either side for Abyss, which could be instrumental later on in this match. You said you're making an instrumental? Wow. Wow. 
just to jump in to punish. Beautiful stuff, that, man. That air dash is, is such a key tool for Cabal. The low slide coming in hot. Kerbalich is going to get tagged by it. That's exactly... Yo, if Abyss can just, you know... Keep the keep the melody going. Keep these low slides chipping his life bar away. He's gonna be in a in a great plane. Very nice. Is, sometimes you see a bit going for those low slides, trying to play the mid screen, but all you see is like a short hop into the air dash, and next thing you know, you're being punished for like 35%. Ooh, that's right. it! What he needs beautiful. to get here. Gonna get a oh, beautiful wow. conversion. Gonna wow. amplify the teleport. How much damage are we looking at here? The restand! You trying Ooh, to keep it going? That's not to... real. It's not real. I mean, we saw yeah. here Kerbalicious immediately answering back there. Four instant Holy air. Shit. Oh no, he had it. He could have just gone into back one, one plus three, fatal destroyer. Oh no, Kerbalicious now up to one, and he's gonna go for the fatal blow, or sorry, the fatality. We saw this last time. He got too carried away, and we saw the craziest thing happen. Kerbalicious cannot get too carried away right now. He needs to keep his head in the game, and he needs to pretend like this is, you know, all or nothing match going into this next match here. Oh boy, Destroyer, I don't know. This is, this is nerve wracking. I think though Abyss is very capable. He clearly has got a game on the board. That wasn't necessarily a super convincing win or anything for Kerbalicious. It wasn't like a, a mop or nothing like that. I think Abyss is very capable of sending this to a game five, maybe even resetting that bracket. I know the chat would be losing their damn minds if that were to happen because that would be three weeks in a row that we get a bracket reset from the loser side of the grand finals. Come on. I, I would definitely be losing my mind if that went down. Okay. Taking a second. He's gonna switch variations. What's he thinking? What's he thinking? Sticking with Don't Zone. He's going to stick with the Don't Zone variation. The one that he's been using this entire time. Kerbalicious, one win away from being the fifth qualifier for Champions of the Realms 2. Whereas Abyss needs two more wins to try and reset that bracket. This is it, man. Match point for Kerbalicious here. Can he close this out? Here we go. Dude, all I gotta say is whoever ends up, uh, if Kerbal wins this, some people are gonna be filthy rich. Oh my god. So ridiculous. I love when uh, when Abyss does that little jump, jump kick into the teleport, kind of baiting out a hit. Good down poke. He's really trying to mellow out this set here. Yeah, tagging him. He's getting these, these good hits in. Oh my god, the back one, two, Nomad Dash conversion anti air. What the fuck was that? Keep in the corner. Oh, got hit for the end of that. That one gets flawless blocked. Oh, he tried to down four, maybe anti air that neutral jump, but it looks like Kerbalicious oh, will now yeah. be on tournament point. This is it. that combo. One more round, and Kerbalicious is your fifth qualifier for Champions of the Realms 2. Abyss, not gonna let that be easy though. Oh, he tried to jump in. Here. That was super clutch right there. He's going to catch him in the corner. What's it going to be? The standing one yeah. anti air. He's going to whiff the back one. Knock him with the shadow kick. It's all Abyss needs. He needs to shut down that air dash as much as he possibly can. Try and avoid Kerbalicious getting it as much as possible. Oh my god, this is bad, bro. This is bad, Kerb. Oh. Yo, you saw the fucking skulls. Wow. Everything is flying everywhere. Wow. This is the not looking one. good. This, is, this could be it. I think this we... Be it, oh, the grab tag. Wait. Bro, Abyss needs not a miracle. Yet. Abyss is going to oh. need a miracle. He oh, gets the... Oh, oh, my God. And Kerbalicious is your qualifier. Fifth week qualifier for Champions of the Realms. Unbelievable. Bro. Well deserved. Well Yo. deserved. Back to back weeks, getting in the grand finals winner side. Dude, Kerbo's a monster, man. Kerbo is a monster. Holy shit.
is. He is absolutely insane with this character and somebody, especially when it comes time for the finale, that you gotta watch out for. I mean, he won the Coliseum after all. He is certainly no stranger to online tournaments in this setting. And now that he has the tools to use a custom Cabal, I mean, he won Coliseum before he was rocking custom variation Cabal. Now that he has custom variation, he's got that air dash and everything. This dude is insane with the character. You really gotta watch out for him when it comes time for the finale. I also do wanna give a shout out though as well to Abyss. He played his heart out. He did such a good job yeah. with that new Cybot. He ran, he, 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 did, he did a great job. He did from, from the pool play, 100%. what he did in top eight, had an incredible set against Izzy. So big shout outs to Abyss. I hope we see him again next week during week six. For I Champions hope so as well. Two. And listen, speaking of week six, man, sign up right now. If you play on the PlayStation 4 version of Mortal Kombat 11, if you have a wired connection, and if you are in the North American region, please sign up right now. Uh, it's exclamation point sign up in the chat. And if you don't want to do it that way, you can go to smash.gg slash C-O-T-R-2, Champions of the Realms uh, 2, and then you're going to want to sign up for week six that's going down this Wednesday over mm. on Caboose's Twitch channel. You're not going to want to miss out. This action has been insane. Uh, and, dude, I don't know what else to say. I mean, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Seriously. Shout-outs to, uh, to Console Gaming League for supporting this tournament series with a crazy-ass prize pool. Uh, yes, sir. Real quick, let me give a shout out to the people that contributed the to the Macharino. Yes, yes. Now over $2,000 for our prize pool. Thanks in part to you guys donating yeah. to the Macharino. Big thank you to every single one of you, Destroyer. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Shout outs to uh, 9 to 8 Stick. Thank you so much. The man from T Savane. Thank you so much. Zep Forzoso, Jake Gibbs, Destroyer Maker. Oh, shit. That's, mm, that's my okay. maker. That's my maker right there. Travis Kennedy, Skeptum, uh, Console Gaming League with a massive 1K. Chill, TJ Scott, Fragrance Journey, Salted Peanut, Dad Bod God, King of Legend, Danny Burno TV, Stray, Wake Up Dragon Punch. Thank you so much, every single one of you, for contributing to this prize pool. This is going to the competitors. Yeah. And, you know, you guys are just making this competition that much more intense that much crazier for the competitors yep. and i can't thank you enough uh yeah and i mean that's all i gotta say